For the fact that I believed you makes me annoyed. And I believe, bro, that video is one second long and it's just a base of photo of your keyboard. Oh, I don't believe you, bro. Yes, Rufus. Alright, go on. Okay. Bro, if you don't tell me I like it's so pog. But, alright, let's look. Pog one. That's very cool. That's very cool. <gasps> really? That's very cool. Really? That is very cool. Alright, I will send it. Bro, if you actually have that, so. Bro, if you actually have it, yeah. Hi, I don't know who is uh, watching this, but somebody is, and whoever you are, welcome. My voice is shot to pieces because uh, of the Mark Watson 24-hour stream yesterday. But hi. <laughs> well, what I'm doing is moving that there. Two people in the chat house. Holy Two people on the stream, rather, not in the chat. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got enough light on that? Probably not. Never enough light. There we go. Is that anywhere near enough of anything? This is appropriate. That looks like about as much of the shot as we're going to get in. <laughs> Um, I've just tweeted the uh, link to us streaming. Oh. So uh, there will be oh, shit. 110 people. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, Albie is, uh, how old are you, Albert? Nearly 13? Nearly 13. So what would you say your obsessions are? Uh, video games, uh, being sad, <laughs> and crying. <laughs> We're uh, we're raising him with a heavy heavy emo vibe. Mm -hmm. um, yes. But the other thing I would say you're fairly obsessed with is uh, internet shenanigans. Indeed, yes. Streaming and the like. By his big stream boy. Uh, him like stream. Him like stream. So uh, we're doing this in part just so that uh, Alps can have. <laughs> done a bit of streaming uh, if you uh, saw the original tweet on Twitter I said me and Native are building it that is currently Albie's suggested stream boy name stream boy Native <laughs> so this uh, as you may well have already seen online is the Lego Nintendo NES the NES, the first uh, home Nintendo console that we uh, that I ever owned. And the fact that Lego made one is, you know, it was like a no-brainer, have to own it kind of business. So here we go. Here are the boxes. Oh, shit. oh yeah, baby. Um, yeah, this will be fun. We've been looking forward to this for a while. 
and not really had the time to do it. Um, I know there are lots of uh, Lego builders who uh, run streams of them building stuff all the time. We are not those guys. We are idiots. <laughs> it's genetic. It's genetic. Um, so, uh, yeah, long and the short is... Uh, we don't have proper sound or lighting or any of that business. Uh, it's just my laptop with a camera. Um, we've got the instructions, I think, probably in that box. We're going to follow them. Uh, we're not going to be like super on it with the chat necessarily. But uh, hello, Hugh. Look, it's Hugh. Hello, Look. Hugh. You who spent um, 24 hours uh, helping organise who was coming on the, the mainstream for the What's On oh. A very fine man indeed. Good job, Hugh. We like Hugh. We like Hugh. Um, so, uh, there are seemingly bags numbered from 10. Yeah, I've not seen one. To 20, so I guess all the original stuff is in there. Oh, yeah. No. All in there. Right. Right. I'm not going to lie, the instruction manual looks like about as big as every book I've read. It's a pretty chunky box. <laughs> um, it may also be that currently with the stream... Hey, Ed Fortune. Ed, Ed Fortune, uh, an editor on Starburst magazine, whose uh, role-playing game manual uh, came out, or the annual not manual. Uh, that's for the top of the TV. I think it's the aerial. Um, came uh, out and listed questing times on the British uh, Dungeons and Dragons streams to watch. Oh! That's a thick boy right there. Hello. That is a thick boy. Hello, handsome. That's a thick boy. Um, wait. Oh, no. Okay. Wait, not until right now. Can you see one on it? There we go. One. In many ways, and I don't know if this has been said before, the loneliest number. Right, let's not lose that sticker. Okay. Pop that up there in the pictures. It's very special. Lovely. Oh, it's, it's two separate manuals. Lovely. One for the console, one for the TV. Great. So, that's the TV one. Hello. I think because we're lighting it with that in the background, maybe we should move the... Uh, Hello, stream. Hello, Jack. Let's ghost. Uh, basically, it's just people who seem to watch uh, streams <laughs> that are watching the stream. Who knew? My kind of people. Yeah. Um, maybe if we move the laptop there and shoot down the table that way, it'll be better for lighting rather than lighting into the garden. Yeah, I think that's going to be the one. Yes, Papa. Whatever you say. Papa. <laughs> um, over the course of uh, building this, you're going to get a bit more of a view of how I've raised Albie. It's mainly violence. Mm, whipping. Whipping, uh, threats of violence, a, a general air of intimidation. If you get banned from YouTube for this, I will laugh. <laughs> and then get whipped for it. But that's, <laughs> yes, exactly. That's, that's how I feel. Right, like. Don't rule out the whipping. Never mind, never mind. All right, stream. You know, as I hope is becoming incredibly clear between the 24 hours of playing Trivial Pursuit yesterday and now this, actually, oh, so you put that wooden box down there. I might use that as the, like a little... Yes, Papa. Um, drag it forwards off the wall. Yes, Papa. Great. There we go. I spent countless hours on Mega Man 2 and DuckTales. DuckTales. Oh, ooh. Of uh, anyone of our generation? <gasps> Hello, Jacklet's Ghost. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, in fact, Jacklet's Ghost and Ed Fortune. Uh, hello, uh, Melvin. Um, Jacklet's Ghost uh, and uh, Ed Fortune will uh, know this young man as Junk Rat Burger. I recognise Jacklet's Ghost from the YouTube live yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I do not. Oh, I recognise a fortune from somewhere. Uh, the QT stream. Oh, yeah. 
So, uh, yeah, look, I, I'm going to end up keep saying the same thing. Unfortunately, that's what I'm like in my actual life. Endless repetition. But um, uh, we have no plan for this. There is no great, like, oh, and then we're going to do this, that, and the other. It's just going to be us building uh, the Lego Nez. Uh, this, therefore, uh, the instructions for so doing. Look, lovely. Is this is a little sort of history lesson. Oh, very nice. Oh, I don't care. Uh, well, no, those are the games that used to be on the yeah. Nez. It's Zelda. Oh, Zelda's. <gasps> Wait, what? A thing that says... Oh, no, never mind. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so... It's a meme. No, it's classic uh, Lego instructions, bit by bit, bit by bit. Um, classic Lego instructions, bit by bit. Well, you know what I mean? It's, it's yeah, like it's a thing. chunky old tome, but it is... You know, one thing at a time for a hundred and oh, two hundred and ten pages. Oh, I've got another two hundred twenty in this one. Hey, look! You see that frame for the TV there? Uh, yeah. It oh, looks yeah. like if you took <laughs> if you took a Nintendo Switch apart, that would be the front of it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, let's not worry about the TV so far. Okay. No. Uh, I've got a feeling maybe we should have kept the. Uh, Things a bit separate, right. um, but we've got them all out now, so knackers to that. There's bag number one. Number one. It starts with the grey. Oh, there's going to be all sorts of technical Lego jargon and whatever. I think I've heard people call these times. Maybe we start with that because I think you start with this one. Albert. Okay. Look. I will try and to call you native on the stream. Oh, it's really fun. Oh, okay, sorry. So, here we go. Let's just check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16. Um, okay, so... Um, some sort of... We got a hopper. A hopper? Yeah, like a plastic, big plastic box. Where is it? Look, this. Oh, I put Minecraft. I thought it was like we like drop something in it, like shoot it out into like another thing. Okay. Like a transportation system. Oh, okay. Or the sheriff from Stranger Things. Hopper. Big up my man. So let's um. Four, six, seventeen. Let's try and find one, two, three, and four. Right. And let all the all the low numbers, single numbers, leave those to one side. Okay. Five. Seven. Two. I'd like to take this time to apologise for the crinkling noises yeah, that we're coming we'll through. Yeah, try to leave that. Four. Eight. Seven. Oh, we've got a ten. Cheeky. Ten, twenty. Let's leave. Let's go up to ten. No oh. idea what bags we're actually going to need. Yeah. Okay, there's three. There you go. Seven. Six. Uh, okay. We'll throw the rest in there for now. I'll put this in a bin. That is the first time that boy has ever said that sentence in his life. No, I'm a very good child. <laughs> I'm a good Christian child. He's a good Christian child. I'll be very heavily into Christian rock. Very. Music. Oh, any yeah. any Christian rockers out there? <laughs> My guys. <laughs> and gals. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because Christian rock is for everybody. Um, I think we should probably... Are we going to stand right over this? It might be a bit shouldersy. Um, I mean, I settled. Yes, I see now. Might as well show this off as it's the single thing I'm most proud of. I made this chair. The single thing he's most proud of. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I think you make top five. Oh, with your granola batches. Yeah, I mean. Uh, You've got to remember, I was in Doctor Who, so... That is fair enough, actually, yeah. yeah. Um, 
I made this chair. Look, I made it out of a tree. I went on a green woodworking course and I wove that, did all of that. Anyway, we're not here to talk about green woodwork. We're here to talk about environmentally damaging plastics. Oh my God, John Embry, pod. I totally agree with you. Youth Domination, best track of them. <laughs> Christian Rockets. Christian man. Rockets. Christian Rockets. Loves the Christian yeah. Rock. P.O.D. And definitely I doesn't spend all of his time listening to heavy gangster rap that is definitely unsuitable for a 12-year-old boy. Me, Papa? No! <laughs> right. So, I'm going to sit down because I am old. Old? Old and won't be told. Um, Does that go... Oh. No, it, it just goes around one corner. I think I'm being dumb because it, it sort of cuts off. See what I mean? Unless, uh, unless it goes off the side. I think maybe we're not looking at the right bits. Must have, this is what I'm saying. Unless it like goes off the side. Like, you like this. So like, it goes like that. Because that way it does go on. But it's no, no, it's side. flashed to that side That's there. That's what I was thinking. But Oh, they all the same. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. That's the right way out, isn't it? Um, yeah. Well, no, it does go. Because I command this badge. It's a good start, isn't it? Literally, even putting the first bit on there. Thanks, uh, Jax, for the uh, chair comps, chair hype. <laughs> Doesn't bode well, does it, Abs? No. Oh no, it does go on. It oh, just, it's do you know? a little hole, a little, a little cheeky uh, gap there. Hashtag progress. Oh, this is progress. Um, look, little bag of bits here. So that's page one. We got page. The first page of instructions done. Of uh, two hundred and four. One red, two blue. So blue. Um, should we get a little dish to hold these bits in? Probably. No. Oh, man. In case my ticks come back and I start. <laughs> I thought we got rid of your mouse infestation. <laughs> um, where's. Oh, no, we don't have that. Oh, you do. Silly bit. I'm silly boy. Silly boy. Silly Albie boy. <laughs> Now, the one thing on side of streaming this yes. is that we can't play music while we're doing it because it's copyright. Oh. Unless we've got um, a Bluetooth earphone each and stuff yeah. it in and we listen to the same music. Mm. Or we can a cappella sing the songs. <laughs> <laughs> and a one, two. No, I'm not the man in the moon is smiling because he's in love with the girl in the world. Okay. Jamming. Applause. Absolutely right applause. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is correct. Uh, I'm going to get the little bin. The little bin. From the bathroom. Don't call my sister that. Do call my sister that. Um, oh, okay. The other ones. The other ones. Okay. So then we're going to scooch that in a bit more than the previous. What? Oh, that's why it's curved. Huh? Oh, you know what? I'm doing that right. I'm doing that. Don't worry about me, guys. I'm um, high intelligence. You uh, you keep that going. I'm going to put on a brew. A brew? <laughs> oh, and I'm going to change my jumper as well. Okay. Um, although, maybe just take a quick moment before I change jumper. Say that um, uh, there's a company called Bad Monday. They're not sponsoring this or anything. Bad Monday. This company, Bad Monday, they make tattoo, uh, like infused stuff. Bad Monday. Check the back of that out. Um, Check that. Because I've been doing ice skating training, what with being on dancing on ice. Um, uh, there's this, they make some gloves with love and hate across the knuckles that my missus uh, tried to get for me and then got in contact with the company and uh, 
they said, oh, we like that guy. We'll send him some stuff. And they sent me amazing clubber. I'm very jealous. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I really wanted it. And then mum was like, well, and the reason they're sending it is for dad. So I was like, okay, well, I want some. Yes, know. well, become a very, become a beloved internet personality. And you'll be sent all sorts of wonderful product placement. Um, be famous. It's not really uh, an advert. I just wanted to tell you, they sent me a load of gear and I absolutely freaking love it. But I've been wearing this all day yesterday for the 24 hour stream that we did for the What's On A Thon. Uh, well done, everybody. I mean, look, there's only like 11 people watching this. And I'm almost certain all of those people were watching the What's On A Thon yesterday. Or indeed were in it with me, half of the people in the chat. Um, but yeah. Good noticing. Nice board game collection. All mine, of course. Very cultured. <laughs> I'm kidding, Dad. You're 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 100 on on camera right now. I know, but you got to you know people people tune in for thirst purposes. <laughs> so you got to give the people what they want. Yeah. I think it's normally nipples aren't allowed. Right. But you know, there's no rule about showing people a little bit of sexy back. I'm bringing sexy back. Now, what have you done there, old boy? I've done what it asked me to. No, you me. haven't. What? Oh, yes, you just haven't put the other corner bit on. Yeah, don't, don't you worry, Dad. I've got it all under control, pal. Um, also, t shirt. I, mean, I mentioned the t shirt, Linton Travel Tavern. Is, uh, there's um, a company that started making Alan Partridge themed, like Alan Partridge Universe clobber. Mm. What the heck are you do? And I think some of the money that they make goes to good causes. So if you like Alan Partridge, I recommend looking out for them. Basically gone from one day to another. And I like the cut of them, they're very warm. So yeah. And as much as he won't uh, publicly advertise for them, I will. So back <laughs> Monday, if you're watching, feel free pals, buddies, amigos, <laughs> compadres, you know what I mean. Um, do you want a cup of tea? Uh, no, I'm Coke. Yeah. Thank you, Papa. Now, how does this thing work? I feel like I slot that into there. No. I'm trying to, I need to take this bit off. Thank you. Let's take that off. Okay. I don't do that. So you've got to stick that on the top. Mm -hmm. And then leverage it. By pressing down. Oh, leverage. And then you can pull that off if you need to. Leverage, yes, okay. I understand. That. Leverage. Leverage. <coughs> so we're which are they identical? Yeah. So we're going one and two. So one two. Mm. How was the what's on him? How was your your pursuit? It was absolutely bloody great. Did you win all of them? Huh? Did you win all of them? No. I'm very disappointed in you. What, be <laughs> what became very apparent and was very lovely... <laughs> I'm not very good. No, is that... Trivial Pursuit in the right slash wrong hands can take a very, very long time to play. Yeah. Um, and so, after a fashion... It sort of stopped being for anybody about winning, it's just about whether we could finish yeah, the game. Yeah, and question was done. But Ken Plume was on for ages with us. Right. He actually was question master for a spell using questions in America, and I ran the board in the UK. Nice, that's cool. Joe Allen was on for a while. Marcus Briggs got I, in. I saw... Jade Adams was with us for ages. I saw a couple of those people. I saw Joe Allen... I saw um, I saw Brookstock. Right. And that was it. Oh. Oh. I'm really used to do this, Dad. I don't think I'm doing it right. But I mean, I think I am, actually. I'm just not. <laughs> can I turn the vibe on your phone? You can turn the vibe on my phone. It's vibe. roof. It is Rufus. Hello, Rufus. Hello. Hello. It's Albie's father Hello. here. I'm afraid I've got some terrible Hello. news for you. I don't know where Albie is. I just found this phone at the scene of the accident. Oh, 
probably. Or we, we, we don't know where Albie is, but his arm is up a hedge. Oh. Yeah. He might be able to sell that. Yeah, good point. Hugh and me, there's a big cannib underground cannibal market. Yeah. All right, well, uh, um, shall I tell you when the funeral is? Yeah. Okay, great. I'll message you when I know. Okay, thanks. All right, bye. bye. Was the man you're gonna sell my meat? <laughs> 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 <Is> that, <laughs> the real, the real reason you love me is what for um, the human possible possible human meat prices. Yes. Oh, which brings on a little a little question of mine, Dad. Oh yeah. As you know, you were you were famously Hang on. the volume was kicked up enough. Yeah. Just, I feel the indignity rising within me. Watch it. <laughs> As you know, you're in a gang for many years, yes? Yeah, that's right, yeah. The Sons of Virgins. <laughs> and uh, I'm definitely not taking this from anyone's uh, uh, YouTube. This is my original thoughts. Um, so if, if people try to sell, like, human organs illegally, right? <laughs> yeah, as opposed to, what, legally in Sainsbury's or Tesco's. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. right? If you try to sell illegally, why are the containers you put them in why are they labelled human organs? <laughs> Riddle me that. Yeah. It's because we, because uh, we also sold a brand of keyboard <laughs> under the. Uh, <laughs> under the name human organs. <laughs> under the name humans. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, oh, we're getting somewhere. No, no, we're not. Is your stream still available to watch? I'm sure you could see maybe those stuff. Yeah. Ken was lovely. Yeah, Ken is lovely. Ken's very nice. Yeah, Ken's the boy. Ken's the lad. The lad, Ken. I'll show you just on the stream. That's a moustache mug. <laughs> so if you see there's a little kind of bit along the top with a little sort of hole section here. And this is a Coke Zero. Refreshing. Yeah. And, but it means that you can drink tea without the tea going in your moustache. If you're looking for the uh, perfect gift for the tea-loving, uh, furry-faced man in your life, or woman, uh, then I really recommend getting one of those. They're really good. Or if you're a potter, make them. Very few people make them, and I think there's a bigger market for it than you might think. Good. Right, what have you done so far? So far, I, I've got to here, and right. then parts of here, um, I'm going to try and get this bit into here. Um, I'm struggling. I'm not, I'm not um, as, as cool. Right, so is that actually mount in that way? I think so. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, no, that'd be a smart way to do it. I thought of that. I was letting him get the credit. That was. Yeah, that's very kind of you. Also, you put one of those bits in too far down. I meant to do that as well. <laughs> so it's fine. Okay. Very good. So, is there a square piece there? Square boy? A little square boy for your troubles. Um, is that going... Four of the little pieces in. Put them. Two and two down one side. Yes. I'm surprised Tiger hasn't like leaped up out of that. Oh no, she's there. Okay. And then we mount that on. Long boy. <laughs> Square Boy and Long Boy had a civil partnership that lasted many years. Well, that's it. Welcome to our happy, happy Lego home. Okay, we're on to stage six, everyone. It's been half an hour, and we're already absolutely cruising through it. Cruising? We've only got another 200 pages to go. <laughs> what just? And then a whole other book. <laughs> and then book number two. Would you tilt the uh, laptop screen down just a shade? Boop. Uh -huh. That's it. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah. Okay, little sixer. 
This one? Oh, you could have just said level six, sir. <laughs> I mean, I say that. Is it flat like that? No. It's like that, is it not? Flat? Oh, hang on, maybe it's in here. Is it? It's, it's, yeah, look, it's here. Okay, cool. Um, and then. That one? This boy. Is it on? Okay. Then you have a little flat this, you have flat one of these. That's in yours. And then that. And you need this as well. Let's put it on top. Say something, I'm giving up. Boat, a pause. A pause. Trying to get all the sponsorships, are you? That's it, yeah. Just as much product placement as we can. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, I've done that right. For a moment there, I thought I had not. Do you want that on? Oh, wait, what? No, no, it's... Look, oh, you, it's, it's a one, a, and you put a one on that bit. I, I saw uh, this, like, right hand bit, and I was like, I'm well, sure you put the bigger right hand on there. But no. That was not it. Uh, that, and then oh. this, this bit here. Uh, the, the semi-long boy. Oh, the very semi-long boy. Mm. Um, not that anybody at all uh, should be watching this entire stream, but uh, you do. You're sort of a sociopath. <laughs> uh, but um, congratulations for counting how many times Albie says the word boy. <laughs> yeah, if anyone wants to like put a counter up or. Be a Google Google sheet. Ding ding. Boy ding. <laughs> Boy ding. Um, right, look. <laughs> okay, a little two and a little slumpy boy. Mm. Um, oh, this goes. Wait, what? Have you got the slumpy boy? Because I don't seem to have the slumpy boy. Oh, no, I do have the slumpy boy in mm. an angle. Mm. Why did you build that the entire wrong way around? It does look like it. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> right, let me just pick that apart and build it the other way around. Oh, silly Papa. Alternatively known as the right way round. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a non-copyrighted music, right round. <laughs> oh, yesterday, when yeah. I was out with boys. Yeah. Boy. Um, we uh, were all on our bikes and we, we found a roundabout. Yeah. Like, but it was like in an like enclosed little lane. It was like, really random. I don't know why they have a roundabout there. Yeah. Uh, and so all our bikes decided to go round and round it, uh, sing the song right round. Yeah. And uh, every time a car like was coming, we'd just sing it louder. <laughs> Uh, and it, it just turned into like people like walking down the street and just like a bunch of boys just singing right round. <laughs> whilst it, like some of them looking like roadmen, just like but like still on like, bikes singing my is it Miley Cyrus? You spin me right round, baby, right round. Yeah. And that was Dead or Alive, a band from the eighties. Oh. Oh, there is a Kylie one. You, I'm spinning around, get out of my way. Okay, to answer Perny's question, B O I. We don't use proper grammar here, boy. <laughs> also, it's like it isn't defined. It's not like gender. <laughs> so, boy is like it's. It say it has to be a male. Whereas, boy, I'm like mm, if you're a really cool person. You're just a boy. Yeah, it's just your boy. It's, My boy. Yeah, boy. It's got that kind of vibe, isn't it? What is that? No, it's not a slanty, is that? Yeah. The two is, is it? Yeah. No, no, look, there's two is in a slanty. Two is uh, in a okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Correct. I'm always correct. Okay. Now there's like a big flat piece. Uh, how big and how flat? It's like that one or that one. Are they the same size? Uh, they are the same size. Please. Oh, is this the same size? Uh, that, no. Oh, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's your boy. I think. Okay. And does that go? Yeah. Um, so it's supposed to like line up with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Just like line up so that it's even. Boom. 
Ich bin die Ratoran, der der Ratoran. Ratoran. Morgen kommt Rotor. Lass es mit mir weiterfahren. Ist er rein? Ja, er ist. Boom. Look at that. We're on to stage nine. If you don't look at that and immediately think, Nez, what do you think? Mm. Right. Uh, it's a little flat six. Flat six. Where does that actually go, though? <gasps> oh, no. You made me yawn. Sorry. There's going to be quite a lot of that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I don't know where it goes. Oh. There? On this bit? Because then you put this bit on top of it. I think you do put that bit on top of it. Well, this is like spin this round so now it is facing the right way. Yeah. It's like one of those. Yeah, but then it's asking us to put that on. This oh, hang on. on look, top. it's here. There, like that. So ah. Oh! Then that's in line with that. Got it. And then spin it around again. Mm hmm. And then that corner piece goes on there. Round and round. Very good. Very good. Good job, Papa. <laughs> Thank you, boy. <laughs> so, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, hello, whoever's new here, Molly Rock, or whatever. Hi, I'm yeah. new here. I'm oh, new in all... town. Hey. You're the, you're the new kid on the block. That goes there. And then all of this uh -huh. goes on docks here. onto where's that red, yellow, blue? Red. Oh well. Oh no, 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 no. That's there, that's there. That's there. And then that goes. Who's like that? Aha. That, that was a satisfying click, wasn't it? Who's Jack Lutz? Because Jack Lutz ghost. Honestly, it's like the ghost of someone. <laughs> Jack Lutz. Uh, I've actually got her full name. I, I think we did use her full name in the stream yesterday, but on the off chance that she doesn't necessarily want the world knowing her real name. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a woman called Jackie, I think. Oh, Jacqueline, maybe. And so it's like her digital spirit. Oh, Jack Lutz ghost. Edgy and cool. <laughs> and you heard that from a 12 year old boy. So it must be true. Yes. Right, we're already, we look at this skimming through now. Only 198 pages to go. Hello. Right. I'm Molly. Wanna... Hello, Molly. Okay. Molly Rook. Take a look at Molly Rook. Um, oh, it's, I thought it was Molly Rock. Like, oh, maybe it is Molly Rock. I no, it's, really... it's Rook. Oh, you were sorry. right. Check, you know, check, your yeah. eyesight was better than mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the one. And then a flat four. There. Flat four. Oh. Put that like that. I might just order these because it'll make it easier to like just choose. Okay. Have you got a, a grey four boy? <laughs> you pointed to it, so yes. <laughs> I think if we keep singing that, then we get taken down off the YouTubes. Oh, okay. Um, so I think you can kind of get away with singing 10 seconds of something once, but if yeah. you keep doing okay. it, then it adds up, and then we're. Got Mind you, I think that might only matter if we're trying to monetize the stream. We very clearly are not. Uh, Molly Rook. Uh, no, that's my favourite actor on my profile picture. Oh. Oh, that's Jack that's having a... Yeah. Enjoying the cat cameo. Hey, Perrin. Yeah, they're, they're down the bottom. Enjoying the cat cameo. Eating the wrong food. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> wrong food, guys. Switch this thing up. Wrong food. Yep. Eat your own food, not each other's food. Uh, Panzer is a massive black cat. Tiger is a little ginger cat. <laughs> Young baby cat. Young baby cat. And... Uh, Tiger has kitten food, which Panzer thinks is delicious. And Tiger sees grown-up food and says, yeah, I'm a grown-up, I eat grown-up food. 
but Panza is specialist food because he's such a big boy that he eats too much food and becomes very fat. He's a chunky boy. He is a chunky boy. Add that on the telling. <laughs> right, long white one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it goes in the middle of that. And then these like cornery nub pieces. Oh, uh, one, two. Line up there and there. Like so. 18. Bing! One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a four straight. There you go. Is that next two? Uh, oh, that seems to does that go flush on there yet. Like so. A chunk of that. Hmm. Ah. So, Dad, your audience is surprisingly well behaved. I think um, a lot of them feel a duty of care. <laughs> <laughs> Towards you, because you're yeah. so elderly. <laughs> That's it. Certainly am today. Right, turn this over. Oh, uh, corner. <laughs> Tiger's currently behind the uh, camera. She's like chilling directly behind it, so that was mine. The next two of these two. Hang on. Ah, two flatties. There's, hang on. There. Mm, that's fair. That hang on, I need another flatty. Another flatty. I'm going to take responsibility on reading the chat because my father is just so old. He struggles. You're a caring young man. I'm very caring. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a very, very caring boy. Okay, flip it back over, Z boy. Uh, <laughs> no boy. That one was a B-O-Y though, so you've got to add that to the okay, That goes there. <laughs> you making the... Oh, there has to be a definition. Uh, My definition. A, a distinct, uh, uh, you know, recognisable difference in the two. And then a little nug. A, little nug. a cheeky nug. A cheeky nug. Oh, already on page 22. Uh oh. I was going to say that I think um, the people who go often uncommented on are the people that design Lego instructions because they're mm. always really good and really clear. Very clear. But I actually think that there's so much Lego fandom. Yeah. But uh, that's probably not true. Probably people make documentaries mm. now about how great the design of Lego instructions probably. are. You don't, you don't really see it on like BBC News, though, do you? You more see, like, four children have died from swallowing, like, four by four Legos, rather than, like... Lego's bloody great. Yeah, or, or like some designers planned a great assassination on four three year olds by making their little Lego pieces so scrumptious. <laughs> they say, do you see a lot of that on the news? Oh, well? oh. <laughs> I don't know which news you're watching, but I watch my news. Are you watching apocalyptic Lego news? <laughs> yeah. Lego 24 7. Yeah. Which, now, come on now, which hole are you going in? Third one? Where does Jack Lewis Ghost live? It's nearly one I am for her. Have fun. Will do. Have, have a good sleep, Jack Lutz, ghost. Nearly one am. Where's, where's one am in the world? Australia. Oh. Yes, yeah, she's in Australia. <gasps> it's an Aussie. I won't do that accent. I might offend. And that goes on. Uh... Not really helpful at the moment, I apologise. Yeah, being plenty helpful. And then it's like you build a little. So I need another flat boy. Chief flat boy, how big? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Chief flat boy. Let's... 
What is that then? Oh, it's got things to get inside. I'm going to try and avoid building it with Panzer's hair sticking out of it. That's a smart choice. Where'd they go? They're eating the right food now. Bizarre. I might, uh, just because Twitter is Twitter. Twitter is Twitter. Can confirm. Uh, <gasps> Australia, good night. This is like you're ending like a comedy special. <sighs> Australia, good night. Oh, hello. That's hello. There you go, Perrin. Close ups now. Oh my god, he's on the back of the laptop. It's all right. Fine. Kitty touchpad. Kitty touchpad. <laughs> Uh, yeah. That that, out, that don't sound so you good. You um, take a moment to tell your Discord we're streaming. Do you want me to WhatsApp you the link? Uh, you might not want people to watch us doing this. Is this not cool enough? It's, I mean, I think I've got mates who might find it funny. Uh, well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll text Alfie for you. Yeah, honestly. Alfie's my best mate. Anything. I feel the people who come up with the designs. I'd love to know the process. They start with the shape, then break it down to pieces. We'll look at those chickens first. Oh, a friend. You know it. I've got at least two friends. And only one of them's imaginary. <laughs> yes, sir. I've got the wrong one. Pog. Um, it, I'm, I'm quite excited right now because Dad's letting me be on the phone at the table. Pog. Pog. All right, I'm going to text Alfie. Pog. Pog. Oh, I can't shut up. Why? Okay, hang on, man. This is uh, not exactly Bill. This is, hey, watch two men look down at their phones. That's basically life. Mm. Yes, it is. Okay, okay, okay. Bizarre. Now, how long, without looking up, how long did this stream has been going? No, without um, looking up, you see. 40 boy. minutes? Yes. <laughs> um, right, that's done. Uh, what's the longest one? That one for me. Here we go. Nice. Cool. Is that cool so cool. No. Grievous Productions. It's a cool name, Grievous Productions. I think it's just Grievous, it's pronounced. I know how it's spelled, but I think we just pronounce oh. it Grievous, like Grievous Bodily Harm. Yeah, Grievous. Yeah, I, I read that one. That one was my life. Right, Reds. Go one right in there. Are we do, are we doing this in the funnest way, or am I just doing it and then you're passing me pieces occasionally? I'm happy. I, I'm more felt like if if you think I'm not doing anything. Oh then. no no! I just don't want you to feel like no, oh, no. I just. Sat I am. There. I'm feeling very happy. We've gone meta. People looking at their phones to look at people looking at their phones. <laughs> it's some matrix shit. <laughs> it's oh. <gasps> Hobbly Mother of Goblins! Yes, hello! The Blue Mother of Goblins. Yeah. I recognise you from multiple things. Behold, I'll let the cutie just... Oh, God. Don't... Who was it? Oh, I was, I was, I was playing um, uh, Among Us. Yeah. With your Discord, or the QT Discord. Yeah. And um, there, there was one guy uh, who was really sus. Hammond, I believe his name was. Right. And um, I, from the get-go, I was like, it's Hammond, guys. And Hammond got really pissed off at me. Please, <laughs> please don't tell Hammond I'm here. Please. I'm hiding. Hammo. Yeah, it was Hammo. DC Tricky already has. 
I'm just gonna blow my nose. Oh, it's Lynn Green. Oh, oh Lynn we Green. know Lynn Green. Where do we know Lynn Green from? Do you remember? Ooh. Was it that tiki bar in Las Vegas? The tiki bar. It was the strip club. The I think she was the. <laughs> they called her Sapphire. <laughs> 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 Strong bad pain. Yeah, yeah. It's me, Emma Kennedy. I am here when you get to Is that Emma Kennedy? Yeah. Is that Emma Kennedy? Yeah. It's a... Yay! I apologise for not immediately knowing who Emma Kennedy is. Am I. Uh, I'm, I'm a little boy. <laughs> Hello, just watched you. House of Games and Comedy Night. I don't know. Yeah. Rufus Hound. Day. Again. Good day. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Back in a sec. I'm back. Punks. You silly boys and girls. Hello, Jay Awesome. Greetings, my, my friends, my compadres. Mon amis. Amigos. Pals, I would say. Um, currently, we are building a NES, which is an old gaming machine, my father tells me. He said it was his childhood. Yo, boys! Sup! It's the boys! Uh, this is going surprisingly well. I haven't been bullied so far. It's going better than my entire school career. Um, my father is currently at the door, speaking to some friends. Mummy and Daddy have more friends than me, which is why I admire them so much. But um, if, if everyone wants to like get a sponsorship deal in while he's not here, I'm gonna like, write a poster a bit back there. Freak sponsorship the whole time, I'll never even notice. You know, Mars Snickers. You guys want to hit me up? Yeah, um, I'm kidding. Please don't hit me. Please. Not again. But uh, yeah, we'll be building this NES. Currently, not building it because I'm not the one who's supposed to build it. I'm a little boy. Which is why you can't bully me. Because. Little boy. And so far. This might snap actually when I'll get in trouble. But look at that, we've got all of that done. Danny's coming back now. Hello, Danny. Hello, Papa. Oh, you're not Papa. <laughs> Body swap. Body swap. Is Emma Kennedy? I mean, I'm not saying she's still there. No. She might have just dropped oh, I, in. I don't. Who is Emma, Emma Kennedy? Emma Kennedy uh, is, I think, principally known as one of the contestants on Only Connect. Oh, she's that's not really principal. Uh, Emma Kennedy's written loads of brilliant books. She's a very, very funny oh. woman. She's worked uh, historically a lot with like Lee and Herring and Richard Herring on oh. AI Osama. AI Osama. Um, and yeah, she's just very brilliant. She's a okay. very brilliant, excellent woman and does lots of stuff for comic relief. She's written like fandom books about uh, Scandi Noir. <laughs> I mean, so much stuff, but she's very great. All right, I I was I was heard of, I heard she's and funny. She's, she's married to a lovely lady. Oh, and I have regularly thought it'd be nicer if she wasn't, and then I could snog her. I'm not saying that she would want to snog me back, but it would be nice. Why right. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> All right, I'm fine. Fine, be like that. I won't tell you who I would like to snog. Thank you. Much appreciated. <laughs> uh, there are a lot of people I would like to snog, though. Oh, okay. I mean, there's many. <laughs> okay, this long boy goes here. I'm a pre free bus to snog Rufus Hound, and then he says, Yes, that's absolutely right. <laughs> oh, you have a free pass to snog. Oh, okay. <laughs> This lockdown cannot end quickly enough. <laughs> um, it's very exciting. I'm trying to be very cool now and not think about 
Emma Kennedy writing that in the chat and just playing it off all cool. Uh, <laughs> okay, for the sake of my uh, 12 year old son's sanity, I, re I realize this is not a conversation. See you around the back of the bike. <laughs> <laughs> I've got half a Benson from uh, first break, so uh, you know, man. see you there. Bring a match. Um, right. Double date, me and my imaginary friend. <laughs> now that, that is weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good, good, good. Look at that. Look at this. It already looks, it feels circuit boardy. It has that quality to it. Mm, I would agree with this. Okay, 26, 27. Flatty McFlats. Flatty McFlats. Longy McLongs. Yeah. Um, small boy, TJ, lad boy. Uh, he's... Red Square. Small boy, yeah. Uh, Recky boy, there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. I'll try. Flats goes there. Beige boy. Beige boy, yeah. Ah, uh, very good. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. And even the two other ones. Goes to there. Flats and small goes there. Flats and smalls. And I've got a red and the long flat. Like so. Red square. And smooth. Smooth. Smooth boy. Smoothster. <laughs> Smoothie. Smoothie. A smoothie that goes on and doesn't do anything. If only I could think of somebody that described. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and that was just a, a normal cough. Just a perfectly, perfectly normal, normal cough, cough that had nothing muttered underneath it. <laughs> I'll check my game later. Good enough. Oh, I'll do it again. Thank you, Emma. Uh, we'll we'll do. I'll, I'll try not and fuck it up immediately. Oh, uh, anybody uh, anybody in the chat should know. Uh, largely, Albie has been raised to uh, not follow traditional language conventions. <laughs> maybe yeah. Uh, maybe to spend a minute. What have I instructed you about language? Maybe you could share um, the great wisdoms that I have passed on to you. Only ever chance. speak when the green light shows or they'll shoot your family. <laughs> we're, uh, yes. We're walking. Right. We're getting the hostage vibes. Uh, kitten, yes. Kitten jumps when anyone speaks. So you'll see her in the background. Oh, she's an absolute lunatic, the kitten. Mm. You'll the, the stream might end suddenly and you'll see like, a tail. Like uh, yeah, just before it yeah. Like, she, she's mischievous. Makes sense. Mischievous? Oh, there should be another flatty green. Oh, there is another there flatty green. There is another flatty green. Flatty green, flatty red. Oh, flatty, that, that's a smooth red. Is that okay? Yes, that's yeah, right. Okay, um, T boy. T boy? Yeah. Thank you. So, T boy, then green boy. Then the white sisters. The white sisters. Oh, can you surprise me then? Oh yeah, they the, the single yeah, white sisters. Um, they were single. Um, and you'd have to ask them. Oh, okay. Is there a T? Another T? There is another T. Put mean? Mr. T on there. On there? What? Yeah. And then Communist John. Communist John. <laughs> Comrade. Communist no, John is no. here. That is an old like that. Oh. Uh, and then all of that little business what? nudges yeah. up to the red there. It's had a flag. Um, okay. Uh, blue wedge. Grey boy. Rufus, are you a Wild Hearts fan? Oh, no, it's Bad Monday, the jumper. Oh, Wild Hearts, hang on. Uh, well, I mean, not enough of the fans know who they are, but were they a sort of metal-y band? Uh, 
that would have been playing places like the Guildford Folk and Blues Festival 20 years ago. If not, <laughs> then I have never heard of them. But that rings a bell. I seem to remember them on a double bill with a band called The Hamsters that were sort of similar. But Geordie Rock Band, yes. Um, can we, we mute? Hang on. Hey, Google, play The Wild Hearts. Right, you've got to mute the mic. We're going to go quiet for a minute because we can't. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they are the band we were thinking about, um, but uh, we like them. We would be playing, we will play them some more, give them a proper yes. listen. But that's up our alley, so thanks for that. Yes. Um, because I drive very, very sedately when I drive and I play very quiet music, but we might make, mm. we might make a, an exception. Yes. Dad uh, never, never will uh, drive fast. Ever. Ever. Well, over the speed limit. Of course. Well, I mean that. That really is not, that really not. Out of Mega Spoon. Yeah, 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 I recognise yeah, you from the QT QT Discord. That's you, I think he's talking to. Behold. Behold, I'm a goblin. Look up in Ginger Oliver. It's an NHS fundraiser t-shirt. Will do shortly. I'm currently having to pretend I'm enjoying building this Lego set so they don't kill my family. Then I will. Yay! More goblins! Plenty of goblins. A little bit. Of... A little bit of goblin in my life. Uh, I feel like I've missed where this bench goes. The bench. I am seeing it here. I think it's in there. Oh, yeah, I am absolutely right. For anyone uh, watching the stream, this is exactly the sort of chat you need on a Sunday. Honk. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> for anybody who doesn't know, uh, we'll show the picture again just for the sake of it. But I would urge you to do that. There's some great videos of it. This is what we're building. Uh, it is the Lego Nintendo set. So it looks like the NES, it's got a TV. And the TV's got this whole amazing thing in it that's, without a shadow of a doubt, the most technical bit of Lego we will ever have built. We've done, mm -hmm. what have we done? We've done a lot of basically things that oh. I bought you that were based on 80s yeah. movies. So, uh, a lot of Back to the Future, because, I mean, one of the best movies, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, we did Doctor Who, yeah, of course. Yeah, inside of the TARDIS. The TARDIS is very good. It like, gets bigger as you... Because of the... <laughs> and... Yeah, we did. Uh, we, oh, what else we've done? We've done that. I think we've done more of Back to the Future stuff as well. Back to the Future. Oh, Batmobile. We did. Uh, there was a big Batman team. Yes, this is correct. Um, so we're we're basically what I'm trying to tell you is we are by no means oh. like Lego expert men, but uh, this will be. Absolutely, beyond all shadow of a doubt, the most technical bit of Lego we have ever built. So, um, very seriously though, Alves, just yes. while you're sat there, yes, sir. would you, would you, um, what have I told you about language, just for anybody who is perturbed about, um, I, I mean, yeah. you know, sort of seriously, really. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll try and be serious. I'm a very funny boy. Um, but basically, words are just words, and it's the way people perceive them that makes them feel some ways. And so, there's obviously, that's not saying every word you can say to anyone is fine. There are certain words, of course, that never should be muttered uh, or said. But there's a general understanding that uh, exclamation words, e.g., shit, <laughs> are fine. 
Um, yeah. What about racist words, Alice? Racist words? Well, if you ever hear someone saying racist words, you beat the shit out of them. <laughs> um, because we don't like those people, and those people are bad people. But also, even though we would choose not to use racist language because we aren't racists, mm -hmm. does that mean that somebody who uses a racist word is a racist? Uh... Yes. It's tricky, isn't it? Well, I mean, I would say... Because the point I've often tried to make to you is that somebody like Nigel Farage will never drop the N-word. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas somebody true. quoting, like, Shaun of the Dead... Yeah, that's true. What's up, N-word? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they aren't being racist. Yeah, I guess it's, no, it's well, how you and, say it. But times are changing a bit on yeah. that one. But it's about knowing the difference, isn't it, between... Mm. Like, oh, you're a yeah. scumbag, and oh, that was an ill judged piece of. Language. Yeah, I definitely think it's like how you're using it. Yeah. If you. What? You mean context? <laughs> uh, hell yeah, I do. <laughs> um, I think it yeah, depends on. I think the N word, like, I'll go into like Discord chat or whatever sometimes, and like. If, if someone were to say the N word, like "what's up," and like "love like, him," yeah. it it's not necessarily. I wouldn't immediately perceive that as someone being like, "I'm a racist." Yeah. I would perceive that as maybe like even in like the rap scene, for instance. Yeah. There's plenty of like white people who say it because it's like part of the thing, but they're not really saying it as like, "I hate." Uh, so it's yeah, it depends on context. Anyway, it's just more that throughout this stream, Albie may well drop all sorts of um, bad language and uh, wanted to address that early on because mm. I don't want anybody being pissy about it in the chat. We have decided what language we think is appropriate. If it isn't for you, that's absolutely fine. We um, accept you because we are a good Christian family. <laughs> good Christian family made up of good Christian boys. Yes, only good Christian, no women, only Christian boys. <laughs> we, yeah, because we hate racism yeah. and we're massive fans of misogyny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I love a bit of misogyny. Oh. I just, you know, because women are... <laughs> They're just so, so thoughtful. <laughs> They're just so... <laughs> Inside joke that isn't me. What was that? It. What was that? It was from the show that was having taken off air. Oh, it was the guy. Yes, <laughs> That's phenomenal. That is so. Oh yeah. Um, oh, wait, no. Ignore my hair. Please. So the chop is that uh, thing that, uh, ironically, got the chop uh, for having a big Nazi face tattoo man on it. Big old Nazi face. But a uh, Nazi face man, who in the edit came across as a nice enough bloke just with a load of facial tattoos. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, fine. Um, it's better. Yeah, sure. Uh, Sorry. But, you know, no judgment on him until it was revealed that some of those tattoos were massively Nazi. Um, but he... Uh, <laughs> He, he talked about working in a team and you could tell he wasn't usually used to working in a team. Weird, for a bloke with loads of facial tattoos. And he said, oh, yeah, no, I'm not used to working with women. Because uh, I, I, I'm not being, uh, I, I don't mean to be offensive, but women, you know, they're just more thoughtful. She's so thoughtful. <laughs> we absolutely creased oh, up. But was... this bloke thought being thoughtful was something you had to apologise in advance God for. damn it, man. All the thoughtful people. Yeah, um, oh, just... women, you know, just a bit thoughtful. Whoa, whoa. Women, women, am I right? So thoughtful. So thoughtful. What's yeah. to do with airplane food and women being <laughs> thoughtful, man? God damn it. <laughs> Uh, right, look, this is all going to get it's quite intricate now. But then that guy was a massive Nazi, so... Yeah, so we have since judged him for a different... Hello, lads, you guys are really cracking me up. All right, Alpha Jukes. I, I do oh, know... Oh, Jukesy! I, so yesterday... He's my... He's my... Oh, although, come here. I, I, know, I know who Alpha Jukes is, that. No, I know you know, but I'm telling the oh. string. Uh, we might have to step right back. 
Juicy, he's he's getting close to your uh, bing pole levels. Look at that. Only 13 and he's already there. I reckon he might be one of yours. Or maybe it's that he saw how much I loved you, Alfie, mm. my pretend son. Yes. But he <laughs> genetically thought, yeah. I better grow nice and tall like yes. him. And then maybe he'll love me that much. Yesterday I was in... Um... But it's impossible, Alfie. How could I love, how could I love him? I've got my family, please. <laughs> um, yesterday I was in the uh, 24 hour general pursuit chat. Well, I said hello to Alfie. Well, so I was, it was, I was Nathan Huntsman. Oh, he had yeah. no clue who I was. He just like, didn't respond. And I was like, oh, that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, Alfie, what's up? <laughs> like, who the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that what, Alfie Jukes? Yeah. It was Alfie Jukes in the uh, was. triv chat. Yeah, oh, was mate, cool, thank you so much. Um, Anyone in the chat can uh, click, I think, on Alfie's user and go to his YouTube channel. Amazing music. Uh, Alfie is, uh, he played my son in Boy in the Dress. Uh, there, are two, there are two sons. There's the uh, boy in the dress and then there's the other son. And Alfie was one of two young men who played the other son, John. And he's just an incredibly sweet man. And very self-effacing and never really, uh, you know, sells himself particularly. But then turns out can make like almost full-blown dance tracks sung yeah. beautifully across multiple instruments inside an hour. Mm -hmm. And so sets himself these challenges of like, oh, I might do this, I might do that. And an hour later has written by, yeah. or, or re-recorded, covered some absolute bangers. In other words, great fucking boy. <laughs> <laughs> what a boy. Pro boy. Pro boy. Pro boyotic. <laughs> uh, so uh, yes, if you would, uh, if, if that sort of thing interests you, um, then go and check out Alfie's channel because it's great. Lots of good content. Heavy content vibes. Heavy content vibe check. <laughs> vibe check. Yeah. Oh, vibe check, guys. <laughs> Vibe, vibe check, guys. Just, uh, just quick, do the quick vibe check. Quick vibe check. All right. <laughs> hey, how's the vibe? It's it's, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. It's fine. Um, good. Positive vibes from John Embry. Good. Glad to hear it. That's a it's an increase. The vibes are chill. Chill vibes. <laughs> chill vibes. Positive vibes. Chill vibes. Good. Good. <laughs> good. Any angry vibes? That's that, that's that, that's that, that's angry, that. angry vibes, sad vibes. We accept all vibes. <laughs> all vibes are made equal. All vibes equal. Prepping a roast vibes. Oh, Ooh. jeez. Sunday hype roast vibe or oh, Sunday pog. roast Sunday roast hype. Pog, pog for the the, the roast pog, roast pog. Uh, that's a t-shirt. <laughs> Roast Pog with all the trimmings. All the trimmings of Hype and Pog. Pete Pog. Pog. Pat Hanover vibes. That's oh, who's got Hanover? Oh, Jukesy. Yeah, because Jukesy's now over 18. You see. Oh, what a lad. He'd never touched a drop. Never. Never. Because it's illegal and he's a good boy. Alfie, good boy. Yeah, that's. But that's, that's one similar so, thing with me and Alfie. Oh, Both good Christian children and men. Men, old men, nearly as old as my father. Old. I think, uh, I think you'll find a lot of the QTs are uh, actually most of them are younger than me, but some are. Pissed off that I'm working all weekend and missing all this content vibes. Singing in the shower, relatable check. That's fair. Don't worry. About a thing. Because every little thing is fine. And that's not a song, but yeah, that, that's, that's fair, lad. Don't worry, we'll be here for a good couple of hours doing step one. Uh, okay, turns out I'll hang around for another half an hour. I'm absolutely needing this time. Okay, Jacklet's ghost. Thanks for hanging around, bud. Uh, Jacklet's husband was in the other room when we were playing Trivial Pursuit and she kept saying, oh, I, I think he might be like shouting answers through. 
Yeah. Because there was a point in Trivial Pursuit where we all thought like, oh, well, let's play this as an actual game. Yeah. And when it became clear, it was instead a way that we could torture ourselves. Right, oh, good. <laughs> because it all just, every game took a million years. Right, yes. We were quite grateful of uh, Jacklet's husband. Oh, good. Oh, Jacklet. Uh, good, good on you. T- tell your husband, good on him. What a boy. Tell him he's a boy. But like, don't say it like that. Like, I don't... Can I have a, a blue girder? One of these? Yeah. Well, go on then. Have a, have a... You, you have to use normal plus. Oh, words. hang on. Because I don't understand what girder means. Um, well, girder is a normal person word. Sure. You're too young. You wouldn't know this, but there was a... There's a you know, young. Scotland is the only country in the world that Coca-Cola isn't the biggest selling soft drink. It's Iron Brew. It's it? Iron Brew. Oh! I don't know if we've got any Scots in the chat. Catch you on my tea break then. Catch you on the tea break. <laughs> uh, what up? What up? Pablo Chino. Sup, bro? Where you that fun stuff? I'll let him know. You, you better let him know. What up? What up? What up? <laughs> that's, that's three what ups in quick succession. I'm under the impression that you're, you're quite the boy. <laughs> so many boys. So many boys in the chat. <laughs> I feel I feel not not boy boy enough right now under, under the impression of all the other boys. You're getting boyed up. You're getting boyed up. Um, I'm laying this out. I'm not sure if it's helpful. It it's, is. It's super great. It's satisfying me a fair bit. Oh, that's good. You're uh, you're just dealing with the uh, chat. Yeah. And laying out pieces. Yeah, I feel this is this is my natural calling in life. Uh, laying, laying Lego pieces well, out. Well, Mr. Simpson, thank you for coming to this interview. I'm looking at the CV. It seems like, well, mainly you've listed laying out pieces of Lego. And I'm done good! <laughs> the job's yours. Welcome <laughs> to CERN. Yeah! <laughs> Those Legos aren't going to lay themselves. Oh, have you seen, oh, I don't know, but there's, there's this like TikTok trend of Coochie Man. Are you aware of Coochie Man? No. But there's, there's a war between the mans. It's Coochie Man, there's Pee Pee Man. Some, one person in the chat will know what I'm on about. But it's like, they're supposed to be like, they're like joke, it's like superheroes. And the whole group is like, they're just like, I'm different. And it's like, how did you cure him? It's like, I'm different. And there's loads of like, really funny uh, jokes in it. So there's like, I'm not sure if I say this. This isn't me making a racist joke. So you keep talking, I'm just, you know, for anybody who is here for the Lego. Look at that Lego. Yeah. Go on, you keep talking, I'll just so hold it So there's, there's one where it's like, um, it's like Coochie Man and Pee Pee Man having a massive war and stuff. Yeah. And there's also like, uh, there's one where it's like, how are we going to get all the schoolwork done? Everyone's failing. It's like Asian man. <laughs> and like everyone gets A+. Plus. Yeah. And it's like, uh, it's really funny. It's, it's, it's lots of very funny jokes in it. And it's very entertaining when like, you just see dance videos of Charlie D'Amelio and then you like, scroll on like Cookie Man. It's enjoyable. Rufus, you're very funny. Your son is coming for you. He is hilarious. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Yes. No, 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 no. Freedom. No, please, please. No encouragement of the boy. Yes. I have to get him to 18 without him already having given up. Yes. Uh, with some view that, like, oh, I'm funny enough. I don't have to do school. My mum my wants me to be a doctor. Not anymore. <laughs> Miss Miss Nicole Forever said that I'm 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 hilarious. That doctor career ain't going nowhere no more. <laughs> no, it's, it's all about that. All about that comedy. All about all about that. Hello. Is that a thing? No. <laughs> Can't have a week off Christmas time now. Stand and wait. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, I've got, got more, more things to lay out before I do it. Little nibblers here. A couple of nibs. So long as that go. Two up and then a long blue. Oh, Dad, in your chat the other day. Yeah. I think it was it was a fair amount. It was it was not very many uh, you know young ones like myself. That's true. Um, and so because I think. Largely because what am I really doing that's relevant to the young, cool kids? This is, this is fair. This yeah. is fair. Uh, but as soon as I showed up, a lot more young kids turned up. And like, <laughs> oh, Albie! Whoa, bro! Radical! 
Yeah, did, a, they, did they all turn up on their surfboards? They, they were chanting it, actually. <laughs> we filled Wembley with people chanting my name yeah. on surfboards. <laughs> they, they, they all brought pots of water with them, then put the surfboards carefully on top, and stood on the surfboards so they were riding the waves. Mm. It, was, it was the most entertaining event. And, um, <laughs> most entertaining. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was when I was on the Twitch Mark Watson thing. Yeah. People were... Um, because obviously Twitch is the home of Pog. I'm not right. sure if you know what Pog is, Dad. Player of games or something? So it, it's not it like Sam for something. Uh, Pog is short for Pog Champ, which is a Twitch emote. Coming from like Pog Champ, it's what like streamers used to go like, Pog is a like hype, basically. Right. Where like you and Mark Watts were going like hype, it, it, everyone who was younger was like Pog. And so I was like, Pog? And, Everyone's like, I, wonder, I bet Pog does stand for something. It's it just sort of Pog Champ. Pog, Pog Champ's Nemo. Let's see if Google knows. I know. Hey, Google. Does Pog in Pog Champ stand for anything? Yes, Alfie. No. Now, I wonder if that's a specific emote. Yeah. Right. Okay. There used to be little plastic discs that was a game you could buy. Right. Called Pogs. Right. A more pointless fad uh -huh. you would struggle to come up yeah. with. I wonder if the little emote is a guy, because that, like, yeah. is him playing Pogs. Oh, yeah, that, that's and what that it is. And he's the Pog champ. Yeah, that, that's what it is. That's, that's Pog champ. Yes, go. Oh, look at that. So. Um, oh, wait, can I see? Oh, how do I make that? Um, Native and Rufus, the cops. I was just in the Jake Walter. <laughs> um, so if everyone watches Brooklyn Nine Nine, they'll know like um, Jay Parola and Doug cops going around the street to the magic dog. <laughs> and it's like when they, they let Doug Judy be a cop, it's amazing. Um, um, I always bring my surfboard to your live videos. <laughs> Proper lad. Good boy. Good boy. Um, I'm not the old... It's not the pog, old, old Pog toys. That's oh, it's cool. not the old Pog toys. It's not. That's me, something. Rap song, rap song. We do our raps and the crowd goes wild. I'm a big Brooklyn Nine-Nine fan, which is why I might randomly start singing Brooklyn Nine-Nine songs. A big Andy Samberg fan as well. Big old Andy Samberg fan, yes. He's very funny. Um, <gasps> I made a little face out of the little bits. Um, that goes there and there. If it is not helpful, do let me know. No, it's really great. As long as you're happy, it's more that I'm still want you to feel like happy. you're getting. No, no, I'm loving it. You're getting bored. No, I'm, 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 I'm loving it. <laughs> really trying to get as much <laughs> branded really content. Really trying to get some sponsors in here. Yeah. If Ronald McDonald is watching. Oh, this. if if the big R is watching. <laughs> Ronster. LMK, bro. <laughs> Apparently, it's a shortening play of Game Champ. Huh, That's what I said, wasn't it, player of game? Yeah, is it though? I mean, it may well not be, and it's your culture, really. It's not mine, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's a the shock. Look on his face. Yeah, Hubie, thank you, man. Exactly. That, that's that's all I know from Pog is a shortening of Pog Champ, the emote from Twitch, and it's currently used in the Twitch society or online society to go like exclamation OMG. Pog, hype. Oh, it's so it's instead of OMG, you just write Pog. Which, like how you went hype, it's Pog instead of hype, basically. Right. Um, you'll, you'll sometimes see it in like clickbait alley like titles. Right. It's like, I found the mythic purple chest IRL. Pog. Ah. Good to know. Lessons with Albie. <laughs> Okay, flip it. that over. Now, uh, Bad boy. round, roundy rounds. Oh, 
Little tiry boys. He might as well do with a shock look on his face. Indeed. Um, yeah, I, I would totally have streamed this on Twitch, by the way. But uh, I know how to do it on YouTube easily, and I don't know how to do it on uh, Twitch without it being hard. I don't have to do it on Twitch. I'm a little Twitchy boy. Um, but he didn't ask this. I wonder if I've got that in the wrong way around. And his best work will always be Lonely Island. I follow Lonely Island's Instagram, and I do enjoy it. But come on, his work on SNL, he's a funny dude. Uh, Lonely Islands didn't start on SNL, but they're like dick in a box and stuff. Yeah, that was all uh, on SNL originally. And I'm I'm being I'm being quite nice currently, Miss, Miss Nicole Forever, because you said I was hilarious. But let's be honest, you silly Billy. <laughs> Brooklyn Nine Nine was a masterpiece of his, or not his, but it was a masterpiece that he featured heavily in. Again, he was the main character. Well, and you say you're using the past tense, whereas I would say it's still... Oh, it's still... It's still a going concern. Oh, no, it's it's a very mad show. I love it. It's I've got painting of Andy Samberg on my wall, like onto the wall. So if he turns up like a massive rapist or some shit, that's going <laughs> to suck. That's, uh, that's a concern in 2020, isn't it? It is. I like this person. Please don't let them turn out to be a psychopath. Be a yeah, no. It's, it's a con- yeah, no, it's a concern. I, I, we accept all concerns here. Yeah. Um, I think that's there. That's there. Oh, that's clever. And then that. Three. Mm. Oh, there are three of them, yeah. Um... Did you watch Cuckoo? Cuckoo. Oh, no. No, I did not. Has anyone asked you about the stream from a song that Rufus? Only the first bit of slut is, is the oh, rest of the spreader. Yeah, uh, I can tell you about that. I, you know, again, repeatedly have no idea what I'm doing. And so I thought at the end of the stream, it sort of auto posted to Google. Oh, yeah, lovely. Thank you. I thought it auto posted to Google. Um, and instead, when we closed it, I think there was something I was meant to do, and I thought I can just go back and do that later. And then I've looked at doing it, and I can't make it work. So I think that may just be lost for the ages, frankly. Um, the first bit posted, um, and then the rest of it didn't. And I'm sorry about that, it wasn't our intention. However, what well, I think if if there are several of you here from uh, the chat yesterday, um, it, when we played 24 Hours of Trivial Pursuit, it just seemed to be really fun and really good. And so me and Steve, when it was all done, had a bit of a chat about it, and we're considering maybe doing that as a as a thing, as a, like a regular thing, especially with this second lockdown coming. Because it was really nice to be able to play with people we didn't know and then people I've worked with and people I like. So, um, yeah, we might do some more of them. Uh, yeah. Don't really. Also, you know, I, I have slept. I've actually got a pretty good kick last night. But um, equally, my brain may not be entirely functioning. <laughs> uh, so I don't know what else I can tell you about that. We just We just enjoyed it. And actually... Quite a few people who watched it said that they'd only intended to watch it for a short period um, and then ended up, oh, I've got too many of uh, Yeah, you know, thought, oh, I'll watch 20 minutes of this and then ended up sticking around for ages. So, um, yeah, we might, uh, blah, blah, blah. Ultimately, Steve and I might decide to do some uh, more like quiz board game streaming with guests and not taking the actual quiz element of it terribly seriously, but taking the loveliness element of it a bit more seriously. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, have you seen... Sorry, I... No, 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 I was, I was wittering, really. Um, oh, your tea's there. If I did too much milk, I apologise. Oh, that's great. Um, did you use milk or oat milk? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's fine. It's fine. No, no. I'm telling you, it's fine. Sorry. 
big old vegan man over here. Well, yeah, I'm so trying to work out what I should what I should refer to myself as. I'm basically an as aspiring vegan, mm -hmm. but also not terribly strict. It's uh, I'm not doing it because I love animals so much. Don't want any of them to die, and I don't believe like farming is, you know, the world's most horrific thing. Mm -hmm. But it is true that environmentally, if we all ate more plant-based and less stuff that was farmed, environmentally that would be significant. Yeah, be curious. Yeah, be curious. But it's like more. It's like I'm just like. When I'm when I'm in charge of put what I'm putting in my face, I'm making sure that thing is vegan. And when other people are kind enough to make me food or bring me food, I'm not going to give them shit about like, well, has it been near butter or whatever. It's just the overall effort to do a bit. He's being a good do a person. Bit, do a bit better. So I want to donate large sums of money or vegan sponsorships. No, but oh. Although you say that, where's uh, oh, the old vegan milk? Yeah, is it the, the one we've got like a visually packets of? Yeah. Yeah, right. Now. Uh, so there's um, we I I tweeted out a little while ago the alternative milk section in the supermarket I was in, which was Waitrose, and then um, this company, Minor Figures, uh, saw my tweets and went like, uh, "Hey, we'll send you some of our gear." So they sent me uh, like cases, a couple of cases of oat milk and uh, organic oat milk because everybody basically came back and went, Oatly's the best. So I then, in response to all the kind of tweets I've got, went like, oh, right, Oatly's evidently the one, so I'm going to try Oatly. And then loads of people came back and went, no, they just had loads of money put in by big shady um, financers who are like behind Trump and whatever. So then I had to tweet like, oh, right, okay, can't endorse Oatly, sorry, you know, like I, I will try harder. And then a hidden figure, a minor figure, sorry, were like, no, no, we're the good guys. And then to prove it, send me free things. That doesn't mean, of course, that if you send me free things, I automatically think you're good, but we've now been using this for a couple of days and it is great. Oh, the one thing I absolutely want to tell you is if you're a cereal fan like I am, and I am a big cereal boy, um, and number one. It should just be now, without question, your standard to use uh, alternative milks in your cereal for no other reason than they make cereal taste nicer. Yeah, I can can confirm. Uh, don't don't try hemp milk. Yeah, uh, the hemp milk was not good. I, daddy, daddy dearest, bought hemp milk as like a it's eagerly may I add. <laughs> Um, as like a not dairy milk, but I saw it as cannabis. Well, I'm a cool guy. <laughs> it was very thin and watery. Um, I would recommend that in cereal. Um, yes, that that stuff is very nice. And although he, if you send him stuff, he will not immediately say it's good. On the other hand, me, <laughs> hello, send me literally anything. I'll freak the shit out about it. You know, I'll do some dance. You know, I, I got you. Um, no serious, did you watch? Oh, okay. Back to John Embry very quickly. I did not watch Cuckoo, but I, uh, if you've watched, it's that Baseball Brothers on Netflix. Andy Samberg and someone else in it. Oh, I forget his name, but Baseball Brothers, it's something like that. It's super good. It's super funny. It's basically them doing a massive song. It is properly funny. It's very short. It's like a, a one episode of a TV show, and it's the funniest thing. Um, if we're on comedy, I would say Sam J, 3 a.m. in the morning on Netflix. Very funny. Haven't loved more in my entire life, apart from when my mate kicked himself in the balls. I've tried chocolate pea milk and hazelnut milk. It was surprisingly good. Hazelnut milk. Like that. Oat milk is so good on cereal. Coconut milk is really good in a coffee. I I am a big iced coffee boy. I I, I like a uh, oat oat milk and iced coffee. It has a bit of sweetness. Ooh. And that. There it goes on the outside there. Um. Oh, there. My layout is not clear. I tried to do it with a rainbow. Like, oh, actually, no. Uh, that's more of it. Are there any other flat bits like this? 
that, and then I have them all here, so you know that. Uh, oh, that didn't sound nice. These chairs are soft. I thought there were some longer ones. That one, and then I had a bunch more here. I think you used them, didn't you? If you didn't, then we have got the ghosts stealing our little flat boys. Smooth boys. They're too short. There were definitely some longer ones. Oh, a good question here that I don't think you'll enjoy answering. Oh, it's that and that. Fine. Yeah? Rufus, what's your beard maintenance routine? <laughs> Watch him go on like an hour round about He's going <laughs> to love this so much. <laughs> um, there isn't really one, is the, uh, is the God's honest truth. However... Um, I've got uh, I've got my own moustache wax available to buy uh, through CaptainForsit.com. Um, yeah, uh, and it smells lovely. It's a real summery vibe um, because a lot of men's grooming products, especially beards and waxes, they're all in the same kind of smell profile. Um, and I wanted something that was quite light and floral. And uh, and easy going because the first one that I designed, <laughs> I wanted to smell like leather and engine oil, and was duly informed um, this was not necessarily a good idea because who would want to kiss someone who smelled like that? I thought men would like it; it's like a good manly man smell. But uh, nobody would want to snog anyone who smelled like that. At which point, I completely one eighty and designed something that smelled really rather uh, floral and light. I can um, confirm it's good people with moustaches. And people without. Yeah. Even uh, though it's a moustache wax. You can well, uh, sorry. So, uh, yes, I, that was the point I was I suppose I was meant to be building to, was that it smells really nice, and um, it smells so nice, the moustache wax, that Captain Fawcett then turned it into a fragrance, and they made 300 bottles of it on a limited rum, and uh, they sold them all, so they're making more, because it was uh, it's such a... A, a liked fragrance um and uh what else oh yeah and so uh it just got featured in vogue magazine Wait, really yeah class class that. <laughs> that's a fucking staple right there <laughs> um and i so. i can confirm that isn't bullshit i've smelt the smell it's really fucking nice like it is i rate it highly <clears throat> so if if, you, if you're if if you're trying to try to smell fragrant and cool, like me. Oh, it's called uh, Captain Fawcett Triumphant. Triumphant. There you go. Buy that. Smell it, and then buy some more. And buy some more for the man in your life. If you if you're uh, if you've got a hairy man in your life, and you want to, them to smell nice when you're snogging them. Mm -hmm. Then I heartily recommend the Rufus Hound Signature Series Triumphant Smell. I also recommend this. It smells nice. It smells real nice. Okay, I've got to blow my nose. He's Ugh. going to blow his nose now. Well, I'll maybe just sit <coughs> still and just look at the camera. Who stay still and look at the camera? Yeah. Oh, that's what you're going to do in a sort of Halloween. Moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. And well, that's not bad. Ah, this good. looks cool. It's doing well. Yeah, it's got a little uh, sprung section to yeah, it. There you go. Yeah. Hold that up to the camera. Hold it. I'll, uh... You can see these things are springs. Those are springs, and this thing moves up and down. It's a slidey boy. There you go, you can, you can see mechanisms coming along. All sorts of mechanical -like pieces there. So, what, watch out, the Lego boys are coming to town. <laughs> um, and they're making a Lego NES, they're checking it as they go along. It's probably going to fail and they'll build it again. Lego boys are coming to town. They'll fuck it up! <laughs> but, um... DZR 1982 who asked that question. I enjoyed how they started it with Rufus. What is your beard uh, maintenance routine? 
as if not including Rufus would make me think it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm just such a big boy now. Yeah. I've got to, I, I shaved off this morning, but it was it was down here. It was a bit, probably um, a, a, a big old beard. Uh, can't can't lie. If, if anyone's got any more questions, feel free to ask me. My my beard moves as well. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to send him a voice note. You don't mind, do you, uh, the stream? Just got to send a quick voice note to Jim Trinker, who joined us last night for uh, Trivial Pursuit 24 Hours. Well, I whisper. Hello, Jim. Uh, just wanted to say thank you, mate, for joining us last night. Uh, as usual, you brought the funny and uh, and just were really great and totally got it. And um, Steve and I are actually thinking about maybe doing um, some more of those streams as like a semi-regular thing because, I don't know, they were just really great. We really enjoyed them and it didn't feel like a... I mean, we're not going to do them for 24 hours. That's obviously ridiculous. But I think we're going to do some... Uh, and do some, uh, maybe some more, just because we really enjoyed it. So uh, if we do, expect the call, man. All right, lots of love. Thanks again. See you soon. Well, I mean, won't see you soon, obviously, because the world is ending. But, you know, virtually see you soon, maybe. All right, lots of love. Bye. Good. And I can confirm the world is ending. Uh, I would like to take some more time to do some product placement. Vimto. Yes, the zero Vimto. <laughs> Vimto Fizzy Remix. Great flavour. <laughs> um, very enjoy, very fruity, fragrant, nice, lovely Ooh, drinking. Big mm. fans, big fans. Mm -hmm. I used to have a bunch of fans. Now they're all air conditioning units. Boom. The only joke I can really tell. I don't High know jokes. quality content. What phone is Rufus rocking? Now, Rufus doesn't give a shit, but I enjoy text. So, Rufus, take it away. What phone are you rocking? Uh, it is the Samsung Note 10, is it? 20? Whatever the most recent one is with the pen. I thought the pen was been used actually in a few different ways. It's, I really like it, but also having watched the old social dilemma recently, feel like uh maybe maybe not <laughs> you know there was a period where papa dearest when i was getting my phone when i when i became the age of a, of a good boy papa and mama said to me hey little boy how about you get yourself a cheeky phone i go yes papa and mama <laughs> yes please and they went okay little boy you can have the banana phone the banana phone oh actually then the original file I was going to get is Nokia 3310 with Snake. Now, for all my cool boys out there, you'll know what Nokia 3310 is with Snake. Um, and that I think you're talking to the wrong group of people. I think there's maybe a few folks on this chat who think that that is still the greatest phone of all time. Fair enough. But I was going to get that, and I was very sad because look at these big boy thumbs. I can't tap those, those little buttons. And so I was like, oh, okay. Cool. I'll, I'll have a phone. A phone's a phone. But I was like, but also, you can't rock WhatsApp on the 3310. And so Papa and Mama were like, this is very true, little boy. And so they, they, they said, what about the banana phone? It's like a new Nokia phone where it's like a flip phone, but it has the ability to have WhatsApp on it, basically. But then it, it wasn't out. Oh my God, the chat's going so mad on the 3310. Right, I'm going to keep on telling the story. So, <laughs> then Papa and Mama were like, well, it's, it says it's going to come out by the time your birthday is, which is when we're going to get the phone. So, we'll have a look at that. And I was like, oh, okay. Ugh. So, then, then they say, reporting some child abuse here. Yeah. Well, you know, don't report it because I'm going to kill my family. Um, so, then. I'm um, not sure. I'm just going to say this to you very quickly. I'm not sure the joke of they'll kill my family works when you're doing this with me. Ooh. That's definitely my dad. <laughs> okay, well done. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and so then one fine morning, 
<laughs> I, I woke <laughs> up and I, 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 I plodded down the stairs Ooh, into the high quality, room. High quality words. High HQV is oh. my old school. That's called <laughs> high quality vocabulary. I plodded down the, those fine stairs. Because we're gaining viewers from me saying this. <laughs> I plotted down Let's those. See. We've got 22 people okay. watching now. By the time you get to the anecdote, if that number's gone up, you win. All right, so hang on. Ah. I, I, plotted, I plotted down, gently, plotted down the stairs into our gracious. <laughs> Is it no? And no. Is that I can't see vocabulary and just using words no, that you've heard? It's, and I, I wandered into my sister watching uh, James Charles, the influencer, the legend. Uh, doing some Halloween makeup. This was like a couple of years ago. It was actually Halloween. That isn't me bullshitting. Um, and so I was like, hey, little girl. I was with my sister. Hey, little girl. I want to watch big boy things. I'm a big boy. And and she's like, oh, okay, big boy. You can do whatever you want because you're so cool. Oh, Homes speakers just... Uh, I hope you just act doing... Hang on, wait, wait, we get into copyright trouble. Uh, hey, Google, mm -hmm. stop. Okay, that was really weird. Actually, he'd like some sort of like big boy song. Um, and so then, she, uh, so she was she was going to uh, she, she she was about to hand over the control because I was so cool. And then I heard a cool, a sweet call from up the stairs. Oh, Albie, sweet sweetness. I heard it from up the stairs. I was like. Oh yes, Papa and Mama. They were in their their their, their master tier room, right at the top of the house. They went, Oh, oh, Abby, little boy. I went, Yes, Mama and Papa. And they went, Come up here. I was like, Okay, Mama and Papa. So I waddle up the stairs, waddle, waddle, waddle. And, and as I arrived at the top of the stairs, I was like, Hey, Mama and Papa, what's going on, pals? And they said, Well. We got you a phone. I was like, oh my gosh, thanks. Thinking, oh, it's the banana phone. It wasn't. They got me the Samsung A20. So I, I freaked the shit out. I started crying and shit. Um, I mean, I didn't. I was such a cool boy. I didn't cry at all. But uh, I, I, I then called my best friend. You heard her here. Have friends. Um, and I, I said, hey, bud, you know that movie thing we're playing through this weekend? He was like, yeah. My friend's got the deepest voice. He was like, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, well, I got a new phone, pal. This isn't from mummy's phone anymore. He went, oh, all right. I went, oh, yay. And so, oh, another phone sitting in my head. That's fair. Uh, and so then that, that fine weekend, I went and watched Spider-Man Homecoming. As I was out, I had my brand new Samsung A20. End of story. Applause if you will. Applause if you will. Applaud, applaud, applaud. 20, well, see, this is the problem. I said if the numbers went up, mm -hmm. then that meant that you were... Uh, and it did. Actually, no, it went up immediately after I said that. But, yeah. oh, no, it's gone up again. Yes. God Thank you it. so much. Applause. Thank you, John Embry. Much appreciated, pal, buddy. <laughs> Mon ami. Can you give me some Gork Gork 3000? Uh, you may have one applaud. Thank you. Oh, oh. Yes. A couple of oh, oh's. Clap. Thank you. Wow. I've never felt so alive. Um, I'm not sure if 60 is asking me to say Gork Gork 3000. I'm going to say it. Oh, shit. Hang on, wait. Um, I'm going to read out all the chats. I had the original, 3310, nice. Still got it in a drawer somewhere. 3310 was great. Don't diss the 3310. It can survive a nuclear fallout. I've seen it's fallen off, like, I saw it like fall off bridges and shit and it survived. Um, still got it in a drawer somewhere, yeah. Uh, the battery life was amazing. Reported some child abuse here, yeah. Uh, probably still charged and working. That's definitely the person I'm going to kill. Cool. Cessna, uh, French. I now have the banana phone on my head. Yes, applause. Yes. Uh, all right, and that's that's what we're back up to. And oh, and look at that. There's an applause emoji. Maybe some sloppy toppy. I don't know what any of these words mean. <laughs> I'm going to say Gork Gork 3000 because I'm pretty sure that's not what you meant, but I'm going to say it. 
And then sloppy toppy. I said sloppy toppy twice there. Thank you. And just some more clapping emojis. Cool. Well, that's my time here, Dan. Very good. Pepper, are you proud of me now? Oh, well, I put that the wrong way around. I'm proud of you and unproud of myself. I'm also not proud of you. Oh, again, that was going to be a pain in the butt. You said butt? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right. So, that goes around that way. That goes around that way. Legs. Can you say hi to my friend Nick Gurr? I'm assuming you're not talking. Ah. That somebody trying to be rude. It was. I I appreciate what you were trying to do there. Yeah, Mega Spoon. I I appreciate. I saw a message as like Mega Spoon sort of saved me there. Uh, I'll, I'll say hi. Hi to your friend, silly boy. If you ever try that again, I'll hire a hitman on you. I'll be like, hey, naughty boy. <laughs> uh, right. If me my gang pull up, uh, Thank you for the save, Mega Spoon. Much appreciated. Hey, look, <clears throat> we got to this point. The point of no turning back. I'm showing you a little bit of this Lego business for the few people that care about the Lego bill. Um, see these dangly bits here? I'm like looking at that in the design. I'm trying to work out because there's like. Um, it's the game slot, right? You put the game in here and it satisfyingly clicks in like in the old NES. I'm looking at that, trying to work out like how does this all connect? There's, see that, yeah, that white bit there, okay? So this mounts either side of that. They've made me put these, these little spacery bits in. I'm thinking, well, they stick out the wrong way. And that's the hole there that they have to go into. And what you do is you just line it up and then you squeeze these. So they've given you, like, they've let you manufacture your own sort of squeezy clips. And that's so satisfying to have built all of that and then be like, oh, that's how they do it. Like, even feels like almost like a consumer product rather than an actual build because it's just satisfyingly clicky. Mm. Can't go wrong with that. You know the catchphrases we've got from this? Satisfyingly clicky. Satisfyingly clicky. We've got um, women so thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that we lost a couple of viewers and you talking. So. Okay, so I'll keep it to a minimum. Please. Uh, the Lego designers are geniuses. They are indeed very DC DC Trekkie. I recognise DC Trekkie from the QT Discord, I believe. If not, I recognise him from somewhere. Hello. I am currently making sure everything is satisfying. Oh, look at that. Hello. Um, that little sliding runner there. Thumbnail, quick! Right, that, that was pog. That was a pog moment. Yep, I'm part of the cult. Definitely not a cult. It's not, not a cult. A cult. Definitely no, not a cult. a cult. Not not at all a cult. Definitely not a cult. Why do you think it was a cult? Pog moment. Yeah. Pog. I feel so alive. <laughs> My three hours of sleep. I feel so alive. Pog, pog moment. Got it. Uh, pog cult. You guys must be big Chungus fans. Oh, I like them big. I, I like, like them chunky. No, I don't know who Big Chungus is. Um, no, yes. Big. Oh. What have you done now? Oh. 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 So there are, um, <laughs> there are uh, those, those bits I was just showing you that clip in under the bottom there was sprung and then you're meant to line it all up here and I'm sort of doing it and lining it up and thinking, I think I've put something in the wrong place. It doesn't quite line up. But then when you put these little slidey brown pins into these bits here, look at this. Watch it. 
Oh. oh, hello. Those sprung bits. Springy. I shouldn't do that. Obviously, no, that's going to break. But um, so satisfying. That is most satisfying. Oh, yeah. Very springy. Hello. Pog. That's a pog. That's a pog champ. Pog champ. Yeah, not not a cult. Um, definitely not. Definitely on not a cult. Under any circumstances, when anyone asks, it's not a cult. Okay, that's there. These fellas don't like that. Are you, Daddy? Are you going to do a video game stream anytime soon? I have never felt like anybody would be that bothered watching me play video games. So I'm actually not very good at video games. I do love Rocket League. He's quite good at Rocket League. To be fair, the last Rocket League's getting bigger at the moment. Have you seen? No. Oh, what? Since it went free to play? Yeah, it's getting bigger. More people are playing it. Um, yeah, it's one of those things where I don't really foresee that anybody would want to watch me playing it. But when you ask, um, uh, when you ask people who watch people play video games, like, no, of course that's exactly what we want to yeah, watch. Like, do it immediately. We have uh, we have had basically every uh, video games console. We do, yes. Um, we even have a PC. PC yes, boy. well, do you want to tell the stream about your PC? Well, I will shenanigans. tell the stream about my PC shenanigans. Hello, stream. It's Mr. PC shenanigans. <laughs> no, it's a policeman. PC shenanigans. PC shenanigans. <laughs> What's going on here then? Um, I'm recently become a big PC boy, um, and I'm very now. Like I went from I want a PC to play the games, and I'm now at the point where it's like. I know all the different names of PC parts. And so I've, I've got a, a PC, a gaming PC, that I play video games on with my friends. And for Christmas and birthday, I'm in, in the business of asking for, like, a new GPU and stuff. And that's all. I, I don't really have anything else to say other than I've got a PC. I really love it. Her name is Bertha. Um, and it's, 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 a, it's a pretty solid PC. Uh, I will tell you the specs, and then you all have complete permission to laugh. If any of you actually know PC specs, then you'll, you can laugh. Uh, I've got a GT730 and an i7-2600 with 16 gigs of RAM. Feel free to laugh. Um, there's a market for watching not good video gaming. That's, that's true. You have to be good playing if you're entertaining, which you are. Oh, everyone's coming to you. And also... I'm pretty sure who pointed it out. DC Trekkie pointed out. I mean, we are watching you build Legos. Yes. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Funny. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm very impressed how loyal your fan base are. I, no, are no, 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 wait, 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 wait. You've got to back that truck up. Oh. The YouTubers that you watch have a fan base. Oh, so that's right? yeah, fair. Whereas I just have people who dig what I do. Yeah, that's fair. Not project to project. Not a cult, not a fan <laughs> not, base. not building a fan base. Fair enough. I'm just a person who does some things that people like yeah. sometimes. I know, it's blow my nose. Far away. So don't hear think like anything. <laughs> um, right, look, we're on to bag three here. Which means uh, yeah. I mean, like Lego, I think it's true, isn't it? That recently Lego, they tend to overfill and give you a few like leftover bits just for like your stash. So I'm, uh, I'm going to assume that we don't need these bits. I think we've been following it all pretty much to the letter. I can't think there's any bits left over, but I need to look at that. Oh, so blooming pleasing. Oh, right. Bag three, and I'll get I'll get uh, native over here. Hello. To uh, hi. So I'm gonna get a little like other bag or pot or something for the leftover bits. Can you find bag three? Bag three, yeah. Sure. Found it. Bag three. Uh, there's always a couple of spare like, bits in case you lose something. Yeah, yeah. that's true. But the beauty of Lego, they, they've thought it out, they have. Uh, 
Good, good guys over at Lego. The Legsters. Oh, the Legsters. Because Lego are coming bags now. This is something you guys have done. No, this is all Lego bags. We have not got ourselves bags and sealed them. These are Lego bags. They're um, they're basically numbered so that each stage of the build. Hello, Patricia Martin. Uh, yeah, no, it's the good guys at Lego, the Legsters, the Leggy Boys and Gals have uh, said so. Have, have said, hey guys, what if we put them in bags and number the bags so they find it easier? And of course, Mr. Lego himself went, mm, well. <laughs> John Lego. John Lego. Was Big like, John Lego. Big John Leg. He <laughs> said, well, do you want it to be easy? And they'll be like, no, no, no. But the truth is, it's secretly quite hard. But we make it easier for them. And Mr. John Leg was like, okay. Oh, ha, ha. And so we've got our bag. And that is the story of the Lego bag. We gain viewers from me telling the story. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> I'm a natural Lego boy. Um, if anyone wants to, you know, give me a story to read out, I will probably you know, a plot of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Or is that a plot to Oh nuts. I think there's a plot to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I think it's just a star in the sky, twinkling so bright. So, so happy and shy. Just a little. Been so long since I had the pleasure. Yeah, no, you're a bit. I'm assuming you're an adult. And so, if you had been you know, on the old Lego, the Lego uh, building team, then I'd, I'd be most, most surprised. Because only really weird adults like my father build Lego as adults. Oh, we've got a little turquoise boy. Oh, cool. Yeah, do you want to start laying those bits I out? I will. I will start laying those bits out. Red and yellow and amber. Oh, here's a question I want to ask you guys. Yeah. Is there a plot to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Is there a... Plot to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? A plot? Yeah. Well, let's think it through. Mm -hmm. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how, how I know what you are, up above, low high, like a diamond in the sky. Mm -hmm. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yeah. It's not really a plot, is it? No. So I was thinking. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> Oh, you are a big G. I wonder what you are, you know. One, two, three, four. There's a fair few grey boys here, Dad, so maybe a okay. while of, of, of getting the grey boys. Uh, whitey. Whitey. I'm already in rainbow order. Which isn't actually in order, but... Wait, what the hell? This is like a slot. I'm just going to turn on that. Oh, that's for above the. Um, I'm gonna put that in there. The controller like a, panel. Like a special piece. Yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. That sticks out like that. Don't we have an actual NES, by the way? Uh, do we have an actual NES? Oh no, we've got the NES simulator. Oh and yeah. NES simulator. Didn't it have? I thought it wasn't actual. It has all the games though. Get all the blacks. the bench. Rufus, you need to educate your child. Lego is fun for all the ages. <laughs> I apologise. Uh, yes. How do you have the energy for all of this? Uh, caffeinated drinks. Yeah, what he said. And drugs. Mm, not working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not understanding what Mega Spoon means by those random letters. Oh, what the. Wait, what the. Well, I just, wait, what's happening? Well, Hell King Rob. Oh, Hell okay, King Rob. Rob Sedgebeer. Oh! Yeah. Hey! Well, Hell King Rob. Uh, yeah. Well, it's not really particularly energetic, Rob. 
And uh, basically, Albie and I have been looking forward to building this Lego Nez for ages and just never get our shit together to actually do it. So we uh, we said, no, nope, Sunday's the day. So then I'd forgotten that the Watson stream was happening, but it just felt like a really lovely thing to be able to do today. And very genuinely, a while ago when I first bought this, I tweeted out, does anybody want to watch us stream this build? And assumed that no, that nobody was really that bothered. And then literally in the last week, about a dozen people tweeted me out of the blue going, did you ever do that stream of building the Lego Nez? So I thought, sod it. Like, it's no skin off our nose just to put the laptop up that end and oh, stream I'm, I'm it. I'm loving it. Um, I'm also, I'm not really sure there's many people in the chat who weren't all part of the What's Onathon or the uh, uh, 24 Pursuit uh, business yesterday. Uh, but if, you, uh, if you're if you just tuning in for no real reason at all, um, and had any spare cash, then we would urge you to throw that in the direction of the What's On A Thon. If you go through my Twitter, um, you will you will see uh, the links there too. And Rob, I would say approximately forty ish, maybe less, more. Uh, right, there's a little hingy flap. I was so confused. I'm, I'm not. I'm not good enough at uh, coming up with the. Uh, QT things. So I saw a bunch of people saying like A K. Obviously all H K R. Yeah, all hell can roll like it like now. I, I, I was like having mass spaz attacks or like this is all like massive like terrorists. I don't even know what's happening. I was so confused. I was like, confused. what you thought that maybe they were using our Lego building stream as a way of alerting Al Qaeda that now was the moment yes! for the insurgent attack or something. That's exactly it. Yeah. Or everyone had like simultaneously spazzes on their keyboards. <laughs> what, like the brown note or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was watching this as well. I was watching was on the tip of myself. Damn, they're on to us. I've been watching Teresa Bites on Twitch building a Millennium Falcon. I've seen people build. I haven't seen that exact time. But yeah, it's, it's very cool. Good to see. Hello, good to see you both home. See both, see, good see both. Rufus home? No more ice dancing training? Uh, not today. Monday to Fridays for the ice dancing. Oh, you mean no more ice dancing training for uh, because of the new lockdown rules? Look, they come in on Thursday and I'm waiting to find out. I got an email today saying, you know, we're just going to carry on uh, and then take advice moving forwards. So who knows? Who blooming knows? You should have seen it the first thing went out on the ice. You fell over on his ass. <sighs> it's very entertaining. Um, Murder Bear is here. Hooray! Oh, <laughs> Jamala is here. Yeah, um, hi, Jamala. I'm, I'm recognising a few people now. All the QT people. Yeah. Absolutely. Not a cult. Definitely not a cult. Why would you even bring it up? It's not a cult. Yeah, why, why would you bring it up? Why, yeah, why would you even think it was a cult? Um, Bonjour, ça va? Um, how are you? Hello, comme si, comme ça? Oh, that's a smashing little bit of engineering, right? I'm going to show All you. Right. Uh, what is QT? <laughs> I'm going to let the chat explain oh, what this QT is. Going to be fun. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Kate Ellis, watch out, pal. Oh, it's it's surprisingly not as like epic and angry as I thought it would be. <laughs> oh no, people won't be angry. Oh, no, I, was, I was expecting like um, masses of like. I think this little thing here is the uh, like the reset button on the side. I didn't know what I was building, but it's just so like right that it just does that. Oh, I know it's you know oh. it might not mean much to anyone. No, or is that the? Oh. It's satisfying, whatever it is. It's satisfying. It's just really bloody satisfying. Satisfying. Oh. Sure if anyone, anyone's a mima like myself. Satisfying. <laughs> I'm a meme boy. Um, it is, uh, I think uh, lots of people who have bought this Lego um, NES set have said that it is it is the detail of it that is so pleasing, that they've just got it really right in being what you want it to be so uh 
Yeah, that basically. No, hey, Kidney Kismet. All right, bud. You may you may think that, but and you, you would be right in thinking that. But also, <laughs> come on, pal. Have some consideration for those around you, pal. You know, I've got no arms. That's why I can't help. All right. That's why I'm I'm reading the, I'm I'm making you can't just see it. I'm making it satisfying to look at. This is, this <laughs> Sorry, is rainbow you, order. You're, you're arguing with somebody that you're making it satisfying to look at, but in order to show them, had to clear it out of the way, yeah, thus proving no. that it wasn't satisfying to look at because nobody could see that you were they yeah, were no. unable to look at it. It's in rainbow order. All <laughs> right, they will find it. Rainbow order. But uh, trust me, pal. The real brains behind this operation is Mini Hound, and don't you know? Do, what's it called? Do you know? Do you, uh, undermine me becoming mini hound. I'm the big dog around here. <laughs> woof woof. <laughs> <laughs> call me big hound. <laughs> or don't. Call me native. Whatever you want to call me, it's fine. AJ, literally whatever you want to call me, it's, it's all good. I can see you're doing an important job in the chat. Thank you, Guinea Kismet. Uh, I probably went on a rant there without actually reading. Um, <laughs> I was only paying you a compliment that you yeah, decided to slam well, them. It, just... That's almost as bad as Paul Foxcroft beginning every questing time session with telling somebody to go fuck themselves. <laughs> uh, Mini Hound is providing valuable moral support. Thank you, DC Trekkie. He's doing Chapman. Thank you. No arms, but is very long and flexible wrists. <laughs> this is correct. I thought you were just closer to the camera. Well, yeah, but he's old and doesn't have very good eyesight, so I'm, I'm doing him a favour. And I, I made him tea. So you can, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I made him tea so you can, uh... <laughs> yeah, you take that. Well, that's me, Telt. <laughs> no, no comeback. Um, but we love being told to go fuck yourself from what? <laughs> LOL. Okay, that's right, that's right, that's right. What about the left? I don't get that's a flat piece. Fresh hound. Yeah, I'm digging fresh hound. Sounds like I'm on like a top of meat you buy at a market though. <laughs> like, we've got ourselves some me. fresh hound. <laughs> come round, ladies and gentlemen, come round. We've got some fresh hound. That's how I'm imagining it. It sounds like a um, post apocalyptic. Yes. Like meat market. Fresh hound. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, like a dog. Oh, my Go to the market and get the fresh hound. Yeah, get the fresh hound from my comrade, Slacknoff. <laughs> it's a badge of honour. <laughs> right. I need a little tutu. Why would you call me like native or AJ? It's your your really all good. Implying that Rufus is not so fresh. <laughs> but what does that leave Rufus being called? Rufus. Mm -hmm. P.S. Oh, Mini Hound. Who blue is actually Paul Foxcroft? <laughs> Are they trying to make you make you feel bad? Or we think so on the Discord. Yeah, so when I was on the Discord, I I saw, I saw the the account I saw. Oh, hang on, who blew? Isn't isn't it who blew? Mama of goblins is that Sasha? Yeah. Uh, I'm asking that to the stream. Uh, you can tell me. I might have that wrong. I'd have to look at the uh, uh, 20 full pursuit uh, email to work that out. But I think uh, Who Blew Mama of Goblins is Sasha. No. No. Well, oh. Oh, that's Dear Lady. Yes, sorry. Look, you know, I did get some sleep, but not Old man. Enough. <laughs> um, now, wait, waiting until Rufus realizes he skipped three steps, as an I. That's a story about, oh, my leg got flipped upside down. Fresh out, yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I did the cro <laughs> did the crochet, croquet goblins. Crochet. Crochet, I don't know. Sadly, my dear lady, the same, yes. Yes, remember, sorry, apologies. <laughs> now I'm going to start singing that theme tune and I'm going to get, like, told off. 
And that's the story. Oh, David, I put that that's the story all about how my life got flipped and upside down. And I'd like to take a minute to sit right there and tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. How did you get into the basketball court bit? What's the first line of that? I know. I was chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and all shooting some b ball outside of the school when a couple of guys, they were up to no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight, my mom's got scared. She said, You're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I whistled for a cab, and when it came near, the license plates were fresh and it had dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say that this cab was rare, but I thought, no, forget it. Yo, Holmes to Bel Air. I pulled up to the house about seven or eight, and I yelled to the cabbie, yo, Holmes, smell you later. I looked at my kingdom. I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. Oh, good. And yes, I know there are missing verses to that, but they weren't part of the theme tune, so I never learned them. Dab on your haters. Dab on my haters. Damn on your haters, Fortnite. Um, I I think I'd like to do like a big fantasy epic, you know, like mm. like Middle Earth, like Lord of the Rings, yeah. Dungeons and Dragons thing, mm. and then like in the moment where I was just about to like kill the yeah, big right. like baddie or whatever, be yeah. like, dab on my yeah. haters. I I would say dab my haters, Fortnite. Now this is something. From my, all, the almighty JPC, who I'm, I'm a big fan of. Well, you're going to have to really, I mean, like, uh, Puzzies and really. Am, am, I, am I allowed to say advertise, like, tell people about it? Yeah, totally, yeah. Okay, cool. So, JPC is uh, a Chicago based improviser who uh, does a podcast with Aaron Keith and Adam Rafai called Hey Riddle Riddle. People will know Adam Rafai probably from QT World uh, as Hello from the Magic Tavern. Oh, yeah, Hello from the Magic Tavern. Yeah, Chump Magic Magic. Yeah, exactly. So, if you know him, good. Oh, that's cool, you know him. Um, so then he Not just... everyone, maybe, but, you know, there Some is sort of a lot of crossover with Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, and so they do a podcast, and JPC... Uh, is like my idol, and I'm also spoken to Erin as well hey. um, on, on Instagram. Yeah, so I've I've spoken to Jay. I played um, Chuck with six T's. Yes, people. Oh, you're so cool, guys. Right, so <laughs> I've spoken to uh, JPC. He was like my idol. I spoke to him on Fortnite. I spoke to, basically. I got um, I saw him streaming on Twitch. He was playing Fortnite, which was like a new thing for him. He was doing it like yeah. once. And I sent him a friend request, like, you know, what's the worst that could happen? He accepted it. I played Fortnite with JPC. Albie, Albie treats this very minorly known <laughs> Chicago new act. Basically, Richard Soames mm. of Chicago. Albie feels about him like he's playing with Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was... It was fucking awesome. Not gonna lie. <laughs> it was very cool. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I played a bunch of Fortnite with him, and that was very enjoyable. And then I've since then been like his Twitch streams and stuff. He's on Twitch as um, oh, Shark Barkman. Um, and so I haven't seen dissing the Sons. Uh, and so oh, he, please don't think I'm dissing Sons. I just mean in the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rob. <laughs> to, uh, no, I just mean in terms of like, if you walked in the street and said, name five comedians, I think you'd probably get through a fair number of them before the name Richard Tober. That's literally what I mean. I don't Whereas know the Richard this... <laughs> and, yeah, and I'll be watching Questing Time and he doesn't know who we're talking about. No. Um, but uh, yeah. If this now, I've just realised on the Discord and through Zedbeer, this is all going to get reported back now, isn't it? Yes. People say brutal. Yeah. That's it. Stir the pot. That's. Please, I, I urge you, please let this get back to Richard. That I was deliberately <laughs> awful about him. That sounds hard. <laughs> but okay, I'm going to end this very quickly. Um, uh, it, it was my like, dream come true. It was 
fucking amazing. Uh, and then after that, I uh, spoke to Erin Keefe, who's also on the podcast uh, of Instagram, and that was, like, unbelievable. So it was a very good time, and I enjoyed to him very much. So please check him out on Twitch. But I'm not advertising him, I'm just saying. Real cool guy, very funny. Uh, yes. But now let's get back to how we're going to make my dad be in trouble. So... <laughs> Let's get back to how we're going to make my dad fall out. What the actual... There's... Hi, new person in chat. I'm not even going to try and say your name. Uh, it ends in Sega PS1. Two game consoles. Cool. Oh, yeah, I hope I hope that's not like something like really cool. Yeah, what we've learned from the Nazi tattoo yeah, face man true. is things that seem innocuous turn out to be hardcore Nazi references. Yes, I'm, I'm not going to... Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, welcome. Currently, it's me organising this Lego into rainbow uh, <coughs> while my father builds <coughs> a, a Lego Nez. Uh, and that's what's happening. I thought it was jeweled into Paladin so he can heal himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. I've, how do I get that bit out? Is it this? I put the wrong bit in, I put the wrong bit in. Rob, I'd imagine so, yeah. Pounds and heal myself! Gosh. Um, that can... Oh, this looks so... Can I try this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, don't know. I'm just, I might now just play with this. This is like that classic... Uh... <laughs> A Lego movie thing, like, don't play with it. You're yeah. a child, don't yeah. play with Yes. So. Uh, there's a slimy bit in it as well. Yeah, well, that is for the game to, so it, it will feel like authentically like how it feels loading a. Who blue just came back? My yeah. drug blends. I was like, I was making a cuppa. Did I miss something? Did I miss Soames missing? Oh, the Soames missing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my dad just slammed. Oh, just like, fucking <laughs> slammed him. Yeah. <laughs> Report it back. We need to. We need to get a full uh, law lawsuit against him. Um, I'm yet to play a full day of D and D. I'm ashamed. Same. Uh, I I had a game with my mates, which my dad like, umpired a game or something. DM. DM. Uh, and it, I played it, and then basically because it was in quarantine, it was a bit like it wasn't as good as usual. So. Didn't work out, but it was very enjoyable. And also, I'm not, I'm nowhere near the dungeon master that like properly. And it, it basically repeatedly says, if it's not, be, if it's not fun for the players, you're not doing it properly. And because I was so stressed about trying to DM like reasonably well, I think I just ended up making it super not fun. And was saying to like Albie and his twelve year old friends, like, try looking round, like try. And... <laughs> and Although like, I would also say. He was trying to DM a game of 12 year old boys who were constantly trying to go, What if we shag that goblin? Like, <laughs> we were, like, it wasn't like his fault that we were like fucking shit up. It was like a masked figure comes in and looks over at you and we're like, All right, well, let's get the fuck out of that place. Don't talk to him. Let's go to sleep. Like, we weren't helping. Um, <laughs> I won't lie, it was very enjoyable. Um, I know, but it should be. It should just be like, That is what that game should have been. And I was like, But, like, you're trying to be on a mission. You're trying yeah. to be on an adventure. Like, yeah. Um, I was just really not good at DMing. Kitten. Um, oh. Question. Should I put Marmite on my roast potatoes? Um, if you would like to praise Satan, go ahead. Um, if you did it really lightly. No, Marmite's shit. Roast potatoes are amazing. No, but like, you, know, you get that, that savoury tang. Like... Like it's like putting Bovril in the gravy. Like put Marmite no, in the. No, that's a shout. That's true. Oh, yeah, if you put it in the gravy, that's fair. I wouldn't put it in the. Uh... But if you lightly, if you, what would you do? I and mean, if they're going to put them in DC Trekkie, my man or woman, don't actually know who you are, but straight up facts. It's almost as if people have very strong feelings about Marmite. Oh, that, they absolutely should. It's scum of the earth, <laughs> along with the veggie mite. Oh no. As a DM, the best rule is to plan everything and then throw those plans away because players will never follow them. Absolutely right. But uh, so on that point, 
yes, I fully accept that that is, you know, how it goes, as indeed Paul Foxcroft would attest with our question time uh, uh, shenanigans. However, because I'm not very good at DMing, I don't really understand all the rules and how everything works. Um, I was using the, I think it's called the Adventurers League. They made a bunch of stuff available for free um, on uh, uh, during quarantine. Oh. And so I, it was like, I don't have the wherewithal to be able to just make this as open as you want it to be. It's like this adventure is pretty much on rails. Hoping that as that went forward, I'd be able to become better at doing it, essentially. But yeah, no, you're right. It's There's, there's a, a real skill to it, and it is a skill that Paul Foxcroft demonstrates, you know, <laughs> It's like I, it's like a baby taking his first steps, and then some guy on a um, tightrope next to you doing backflips. Yeah. Oh, you just do it like this. <laughs> yeah. But to be fair, you're comparing yourself to football for Scott. Yeah. Who I should also say the mate that was playing the D game within quarantine, Dad was DMing that. The reason we were playing that is because previously we played a game with us guys um, with Paul Fox was DMing DMing our game. And so Dan was trying to compare himself to fucking Paul Fox from didn't seem quite fair. <laughs> I enjoyed Dad uh, doing it because it was less, uh, you know, don't go and shag that uh, <laughs> goblin and more. Eh, don't. I mean, you really shouldn't, but like, yeah, fuck off. I, I also should say I died immediately because uh, I stood under a ladder and died. Um <laughs> Mega Spoon, I, I feel Paul's Fox was still last night in his awesomeness. It's like a bit in preparation for lockdown too. Electric boogaloo. <laughs> uh, We're gonna lock down to electric boogaloo. Um, try the stuff set. I'm just prepping to run it while watching this. It's really good hand holding a new DM as I am. The best moments in my games have happened because I've put my plans down and gone, sure, yeah, let's do this instead. Yeah. Yeah. No plan is the best plan. Albie 2020. <laughs> Quote me if you will. <laughs> I don't think anyone will. No. <laughs> um, oh, my brain goes fucked up. Right, this goes huh? in. Never stand on the ladders, especially IRL. No, that's true. Let's be honest, after Tuesday, it might be a good thing to be locked in, away from the rest of the world. I mean, all just like, fuck off, because so far, the world isn't going so well. I, my vote is on... Eh, just get the fuck out. Oh, let Rufus know that Mr Jack Garrett is doing a watch on a long on Discord later. A watch along? Oh, yeah, watch along on Discord later for... Poltergeist. We're going to go out for Sunday dinner before uh, everything closes forever. Oof. So uh, that would have been good. Hey, right, it's Chase. Chase, uh, Chase makes music. And, Chase uh, has been here for a while. Has he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hi, Chase. I'm so, I don't know most of these people. That's why I'm not immediately uh, going, oh, Chase. But hello, Chase. So uh, I am... Um, on some level, believe that I uh, Chase has heard this already, <laughs> but I believe that I I can't ever be truly satisfied with my life until there is one specific project I've brought to fruition, mm -hmm. which I also think, for what it's worth, is going to be largely mocked and pilloried. <laughs> right. But I think until I've done it, I will always feel like I wasted life. I wasted. And my that life. project is. Is doing a thing called church, you know, like Sunday assembly. Yeah. Imagine Sunday assembly, but as one thing that integrated music and spoken word and poetry that and visuals and all yeah, sorts of things. Really cool. That was basically like like church, like one of those uh -huh. like American jazzy praise Jesus, but like an atheist version of church. So it was basically uh -huh. a rave. Yeah. But at the same time, a TED talk. And at the same time, a kind of motivational mm. thing of like, look, we have got to be, we've got to try and convert yeah. the I'd heathen, that. essentially. Yeah, I'd rate that. I'd by heathen, that. I mean people who are incapable of... I, I try and get POD in that. Prioritising love. A couple of Christian rock bands in there. <laughs> I will play you some Christian rock 
Will you? I will. Right, thanks. Even if I have to like, you know, like hold your face up. And, like, Very Christian of you. <laughs> yeah. Like <laughs> some sort really? of cult. Not a cult. Mm, no cult is involved in life at all anywhere. Um, yeah, no, no cults. No cults allowed. We don't allow cults. No cults. So. Ooh. Yes. Okay. I really feel like that should. Oh no, it can't. Oh, it's like the brown. The brown lot of things that's going to hit. No? It looks like the brown. Oh no, it's just behind it. Okay. That's like that. That goes on there. And then that twisty business goes there. So okay. Oh, have I? Oh, I put it on the wrong way. Brown? I'm not quite reach if I do it like that. Shouldn't make any difference. <laughs> that can't be right. Hey, oh, can it? Dear Crawford, hey, I'm a big fan. Hey, Bart, uh, thanks for being a fan of me. You know, it's really, really kind of you. You know, it's uh, yeah, much appreciated. No, I'm joking. Okay, that's like that. And of course, that's that's Alfie in disguise as Deercroft plays. <laughs> I I do doubt that. Oh, uh, rebuilding this whole thing. Wait, what? Oh no, okay. I thought it the whole thing. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I don't think that's actually going to have made any difference. Would you like the? Okay. No. Okay, so that, 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 that. We do our raps and, <laughs> and the crowd goes well. Raps on, raps on. Am I allowed to play that? No. Uh, no. Is it? Is it copyright? Is it? Yeah. Really? What day? Hope you're not hit by the brown smelly stuff. Well, mate. Yeah. That, 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 and that. Yeah, that, sure. that, that, yes, that. And then this. Ah. No? Ah. Ah. That's why that went wrong. Right? That's. You skipped two steps, like someone earlier predicted. No, I think it's. Everything mounted on that bit as well. So that should be there. That should be there. That should be there. And then that. Should that slant towards the. No, I can't. Go on there like that. Can I ask why you don't have that on full screen, Dad? What, our stream? Yeah. Because um, I assumed then we wouldn't be able to see the chat. Oh. But I mean, that might be wrong. Uh, well, that seems now it's, that's around the wrong way. Yeah, that does stop it. 
Um, I assume that's for Dad, but as he will not see that, I'll read it out for you, Johnny. Johnny boy. I thought a bit too late this year, but if there's no what's on a thumb, I'm toying with the idea of trying to organise a 24 hour DMD session. Yeah, we, um, I mean, I, sh- I probably shouldn't necessarily uh, overly um, mention or talk about any of the chats we've had about what we might like to do in the future, but uh, not necessarily for the What's on thon either, but just generally it may be something that the question time cats have also considered that we might at some point like to do some kind of massive long show. So if you would like that, no reason that you would, but if you would, you know, feel free to mention it going forwards. Uh, Chase said, did you guys do anything for Halloween? Yes, I did. I went round and stole sweets from <laughs> tiny children. Uh, that's definitely a joke. It's not. Uh, I We went out on like a massive walk. I went with like, family friends. Um, and we went on a massive walk. And on the way back, we basically went on our bikes, like, me and the boys. Um, went on our bikes. And so on our way back, we obviously couldn't get any like, the Ubers and shit. So we had to... Um, go back in the dark and it was scary as all shit but on Halloween as well it was quite funny. Um on the way back we saw a few pumpkins and so on our way home we basically I brought a backpack and so I on the way back had a full backpack of sweets. It was very fun. It was it felt sort of like cheating. Um and we saw little children with no sweets in their buckets and we laughed at them, pointed and what awful, laughed. awful people you are. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, that's a joke. I got a few sweets from riding back home on a bike. It was fun. Dad, did you do anything for Halloween? Um, when was Halloween? Yesterday. Yesterday was Halloween. Uh, no, then. I was busy doing 24 hour trivial pursuit and sleeping. Um, didn't do much sleep and not sleeping. Oh, uh, that's true, that's true. Right, can I have um, orange boys, please? Two two leaves of orange boys. The ginger twins. The ginger twins. Thank you. Ginger ninjas. They click on top of each other like so. Did anyone else do anything for Halloween? I didn't really know you were allowed to. That's why we didn't... Come yeah, we, we previously have gone quite big on Halloween, haven't we? Yeah. But this year, because of like... Not necessarily wanting to go house to house, not feeling like a particularly great idea. We uh, we just kind of bailed on the whole thing, really. Jaboa, I'd like to see that too. I think it'd be very funny. I'd like to see Rufus DMing and Paul playing. Well, that is, uh, I think, um, I think in the uh, Discord, uh, various versions of that have been suggested. And I think Paul has thought that might be a rather entertaining uh, prospect. But, I mean, it does feel a little bit like saying, you know, please welcome the world's strongest man who's going to stand next to this toddler trying to lift, you know, a car. However, you know, Uh, no reason that these things can't happen. It just feels crazy. (laughs) Bye, Chase. Have a good one. Have a good one, Chase. And how many games did you play? And did you use the rule of finishing by answering a random category in the middle square? Yes, we did. Oh, not a random category. We had it that uh, the other players, once you got to the middle, once you successfully navigate, you could you could camp in the middle. Uh, but then the other players got to nominate which category you had to answer a question on. <laughs> Tara Court says, a little lad down the road came up with the idea of a house decorating contest. Ours was super spooky. It was so spooky that it terrified the little lad whose idea it was. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Absolutely right. Show him who's boss. <laughs> Absolutely spot on. Right on. Yeah. Um, imagine the board Rufus would have to make for it. It would cover a wall. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, you know, my uh, poster of like the rules of the, mm -hmm. what my character can do. Yeah. The point being there that if I had to try and keep in my head what yeah. every character yes. can do, yes. I'd need. Yeah. They're not wrong. They are not ruddy wrong. Um, Bonjour. Ratigan, who's that? Bonjour. Bonjour. Unbelievable. Yeah. Oh my yeah. flipping god. What? Oh, it's nice We're streaming on YouTube building that's this. Cool. That's really cool. This is Hilda. Do you want to say anything to the people watching? There's about 21 of them. <laughs> right. Uh, two long pieces. Yeah. Is that the right long? One, two, three, four. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two of those. That's the to go along the front. Right. Someone just said hi. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Holy. Did you have a nice everything? Yeah, it was really yeah. fun. I got an Oreo milkshake, chocolate covered honeycomb. Yeah. And I had to eat a tangerine. Hang on. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. Okay, fine. So it's two of those. And then there's a shorter one. And the square one. So that's the first one on there. Oh, a grey square. Grey right. square's there. Okay, great. So where does that square go? We're busting in 20 minutes. Oh, are we going now? Whoops, it's almost four o'clock. Okay, okay. 10 minutes or 20 minutes, I thought you'd prefer 20. Yeah, lovely, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, really great, thank you. Well, there we are, stream. Uh, we will end up running at about three hours for mm -hmm. the first stage. I think we'll, we may just get to the end of the third bag rather than opening the third bag. Yeah. Yeah? Yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I always have bits everywhere and that will not be good. How, how long have you done it for? Three, three hours. hours. That goes on there like that. That is where that one goes. Beautiful. Beautiful. That stays open there. Right, we're on here. In fact, actually, we may, let's see. When does bag three, oh no, we've opened bag three. Bag four gets opened at the end of stage 97. So we'll have done the first 100 stages. How many stages are there? Uh, well, this book is like 300 pages. And this is no, sorry, two. 200 pages. And then that's good too. Wow, that's epic. Um, right, here. That one? That one? That, yeah. Um, that is one, two, three, four, six. That's the six. Then we can... Yes. Okay, fine. One. So that goes in the corner. Uh, yeah, so by the way, yeah. I'm not waiting just being able to fix it right now. There's a problem when we're throwing that, um, when you tap it, it doesn't do anything, and mum's tried to fix it. Like, when you tap anything, it just doesn't work. Okay, that means the touch screen's broken. Okay, that's fine. Okay, where's Thank that you. super long one? Grab the pen. Oh, Hild. Mm, what's up? Uh, I think a lot of people on the stream are, uh, Probably fans of Gravity Falls, if you wanted to show them your jumper. This is my jumper. I did cut it, but this is Mabel's sign for life. Yeah. yeah. I really love Gravity Falls. So. What's not to love? Uh, the little... The one. That one. One, three, yeah. well, I already put the one on. If there's only one of those, I've done that. Okay. We may yet need to do more. Three, and then the three boy goes sideways. And there's a three by three here. And then the three by three goes on there. And then it drops off. So is that all of those bits on? Oh, yes, 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 yes. And then that's the front built up like that. Is that okay? Seven stages, come on, before the bus comes. This, where does that go? Oh, we've got to turn that round so it's there. So that's straight yeah. right over. And then um, need a red and that thing. 
I'm doing a step for you, so when you put on the floor. Okay, thanks. Um, Very relaxing, screeching up and down. So I yeah. apologise for that. That's in the wrong place. Yes, that makes sense. Where's our uh, little lever, little orange? Uh, Mega spoon, there probably will be, indeed. Because we what? are. Is he saying future streams of us finishing? 100% I'm here for part two if there is one. Okay, well. Hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah, look, I, um, when we build this, we will we'll stream it, right? Yes, sir. They're, you know, as ever, not very organised. There probably won't be any kind of great schedule to it, but if... Uh... Oh, what's... Hang on, is there meant to have been something under there? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh... Where's all of that shenanigan gone? Yeah, back, back, back. Right, there. It seems like it goes there and there. King Rob, have a, you have a point? Uh, been fun to watch. Thank you. It's been fun to be here. Okay, here. That's there, that's there. That does stick out down one. Yes. And then sticking out down one. That seems to just go. Oh, it's there. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Now back to page step 90. There. Let's spin that round. That's really for you. Right, so that, yeah, hang on. So that then goes in there. Yay! Huzzah! And then that sandwich is on top of that. Gosh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Put. This. Put that there. Do you want to build that bit? Yeah, with this bit. Okay, yeah, that there. Put the pizza bits. Where are the pins in it? Oh, it's multiple pieces. Understood. Um, okay. Pins are boys. And then another yellow underneath, I believe. What else we need to do? So. Oh. Well, and then you take that off, do you? Oh, you put one on top, I believe it's so. And then you put some more pizza boards on top of that. Right, yeah, understood. Okay, and then you put another black on top. Um, and then you put the two beige boys in the centre of the Onto the there, and you put the green boys over the beige boys. And then you put. Oh, hang on. I think you have to. Before you put those on, uh -huh. you have to put those little sticks in the. Hang on. Oh. Take the, you might take the greens off first. Mm -hmm. And put those in. There is a, like a cross shaped hole. Yeah, so. Oh yeah, there's one. There's two. Then a green. And a green. And then they oh, switch back uh, on the top upside down. Is it asking for me to put another green? Yeah, that, that, that's uh, those two. Uh, they put green upside down, I assume. Ah, oh, uh, look. These go clickety click. Okay, and they put the green upside yeah, down. There's one. Mm -hmm. Where's that? Okay, there you go. Okay, and then turn the whole thing upside down so that that's oh, on the bottom. That. Yeah. Is it the windows? Like. 
No, you've got to stick them, stick the windows onto that first. Okay. And then the windows go th through there on, so they don't click on. Oh, okay. You just line them up like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, turn mm -hmm. bridge. And then that whole assembly goes on there, there like so. Understood. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's so good. That is most enjoyable. Okay. One, one of the big lads. Okay. Two of the little white shovely boys. One of them. White shovels face each other. That goes at the very front there. The white shovels point at each other. And then we get the last red, the last black, and the last yellow. Black at the front. Yes, and then yellow just behind that and the red. That like yeah. Like that. Oh, it must be like this. Like that. Then yellow goes there. And then red goes there. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that was right. Yeah. And then the last two of these ones go. One goes. And the other goes. Hang on. Yeah. Oh. Can I oh. the right way around? Oh, I'll go around. That's what I thought. Thank you guys for sticking around, watching, watching me arrange Lego pieces into rainbow order and follow the elder nest. Okay, so there we go. That brings us to pretty much the end of the stream. Yes. And that is what we built so far. Woohoo! Maybe do with more light on that, but I don't know how we're going to pull that off. So this, this actually goes down. That goes down. There is an actual locking mechanism. Oh. Hello. Which are not the gonna be some kind of push or lever or whatever. Yes. But that is incredibly pleasing. And those of you familiar with the Nintendo NES aesthetic, how this goes on the right. This actually has all these front facing clip right. bits that the controller will click into. So there you go. Right. Huzzah! That's the stream. Thanks Thank for so watching. Much. Bye boys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so this back